now. Oh, hi Perry. How are you? Yeah, I just got on this moment. So, how have you been, Perry? And what have you been up to? Yeah, I had fun on Skyrim yesterday. Hi, Terry. Hi, Ellie. Well, I got the notification. I think that's the first time I got the notification. <laughs> Sometimes Twitch works. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, my day was fine. Fine, thanks. I hope yours was also, Perry. <laughs> but this is what we did with this. It was probably the best we could do. And now we're getting a little done on this here. Where is it? No, it's actually the top one. Here. We're getting something like this in. As usual, they will lift up, so. Gotta smack them down again. push them in with place anywhere it's time to make sure they don't move. Ah oh, well it's good to know you're okay, Terry. But being a bit panicky, yeah. I think we all feel that <laughs> from time to time. There's nothing strange about that one. Now let's set this and let's see if we can finish this guy. Right, let's give it a shot. Could be, yeah, it could be. I remember an old saying, well, yeah, about the way, let's say, well, it's not exactly a saying, but it's a saying nonetheless. You know, when there's a full moon, people act strange. Well, actually, there is a bit of science behind that one. Yeah, it's got to do with the tide and, let's say, the ball on the earth and the the change in the atmosphere. <laughs> Same with, let's say, the change in the weather. You know, the air pressure. I can feel it. My leg was killing me today. My right one. And it's not too bad now. Now. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. Over and done with. And that's basically the way I'm going with this. Let's get my candles in and we're looking for something for this one actually. I wonder. No. That's too, um. It's a bit too finicky. I'm going to try and fit that. Alright, oh, might. That would be a little bit too much, I think. Let me see. 
Yeah, too much. Yeah, I don't want to cover that one. Okay, we got the candles in. Oh, hi, Tigger. Fine, fine, thanks. Hope you're doing well. So, how have you been? And what have you been up to? I'm thinking about going to the doctors on Monday. Yeah, maybe you should if you're if you're anywhere worried at all. You know, always go there. I am well. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, we're going to try and get this done. This time we don't have much. Just to finish this little area. And do the rest on the bedrooms. And then I think... Oh yeah, I need some kind of armory. This would... This would be a good spot, guys, to do our armory. Wouldn't it? Let's say just across here. We could have two mannequins. That might not be a bad... That might not be a bad idea. Oh, hi Hufflepuff. <laughs> Hope you've been well. How have you been and how was your day? Just waiting on my food. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, we're just getting these ones in. I always knew they were going to be a bit of a hassle. Oh, I hate this part. I think this would be our only chance to do it like this because they'll just keep popping up and we can't have that like that and then we shouldn't have that problem again Yep, that would work. We'll set the other line and do the same. Across, I can't even complain. Did some grocery shopping today. Oh my, I've got to do that tomorrow. So when are you going to do the next shampoo commercial <laughs> with that? Um, I was thinking about getting back into the underwear modeling again. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I still have my contacts. <laughs> oh. We actually need it about there, that would be good. Yeah, I kind of like that. You know, with something a little more here, I think it would work. I hate night time. Yeah, it can happen at night. But... I don't know, I used to be... I'd say a lot like that, especially after my injury, but... It's surprising... You know, what you can overcome, Terry, if you... If you put your mind to it, you know? It is very surprising. There's nothing really that the mind is not capable of fixing if... You can find that place.
There we go, guys. Just the two on the other end. I did say there were going to be a problem that popped back up when you don't use place anywhere. How did I get over the anxiety? Well, the way it worked for me, at least, is I have, when I want to, I suppose, sorry, a logical mind. Um... But I realized that, you know, worrying about the things I couldn't change made no difference. But I worried or, or I didn't worry, you know, it made absolutely no difference. It was out of my hands. So I concentrated on the things that I could change. And in that, I think I found, well, what could I put it, peace, I suppose. I was watching your YouTube video early, earlier. Oh, cool. <laughs> but for me, it was as simple as that. You know. You know, I accepted my injury. I accepted those things. No, I couldn't change. And from there, it got much better. How to get over it is simple. It's the getting there that's hard, you know. But yeah, stress, worry, all of that stuff. No, I won't tell a lie. I still stress and I still worry, but I've managed to remove the major part of that stress and worry. So, whatever stresses and worries you the most. You know, that's the thing to work on first to try and change, or if you can't change, come to terms with it. You know? Yeah, a little bit of Skyrim, isn't it? It always reminds me of the Dwemer, although this whole building does. So, if you've seen any new games you might be interested in, off above. Mind it can be a powerful thing. It can heal or hurt you. There we go. Now this little guy. Well, at least that's over. I knew they were going to pop up eventually if I didn't use this anywhere. But I thought I'd give it a try and it was faster the other way. This stupid controller for this X series, it's coated with this rubber and now it's starting to peel. Ridiculous, isn't it? Rubbish. It's peeling like something I bought in a dollar store. Unbelievable. They really ma don't make stuff like they used to, do they? And these are the ones we've been using, so we just need two of these. And to each side here. And two here, so ten in total. And then we roughly, you know, put them on. Hmm. Yeah, these new controllers, it's like they're made from some kind of tin. And what they've done is they've put a kind of heavy duty rubber skin and they've glued it on. Now I've noticed that the corners 
it's it's starting to pop out like the glue has given away. My God, it's rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're passing a new law here. Um, in the EU, Perry. Whether they have, uh, I'd say, the fortitude to see it through is another thing. Um, we're going to clamp down on this junk stuff and all, let's say, most things that are possibly serviceable. You know, like controllers and stuff like that. Um, they're going to force the manufacturers to, to make them better. You know? I think it is. What was the cheapest? Oh, I could find. 95 hours a month from Sean, so am I. I think it's as cheap as I could find. I haven't been out for a while for a walk. Could that be a problem? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, get out in the fresh air, walk about. You know, even to, if it's to the local park. It definitely might help. And let's see what up with these ones. Let's say that's on that near all is in the center. Okay. That's kind of right. We just pull it through. And then this one. Over much further, doesn't it? One and a bit. Well, I think that goes around there. Oh, I'll fix you in a moment. So, that one would be probably. Around there, uh, kind of. Yeah, something like that. Probably work. Be right back, food is here. No problem, Tigger. I wish they would make the sort of lock here so um, we could stop buying controllers every time I turn around. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Terry. Um, they're rubbish, what can I say, Barry? Uh, at least when they were all plastic, I know. Um, they didn't do this, but. It reminds me of, you know, that, that cheap furniture where they would cover it with leather, they would glue it to the side and after a few months it would all come loose at the edges. My God, this is bad workmanship. This is horrible. I would have to open it up and re-glue it, I'd say. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. They're much worse than the older controllers. No problem, Huff Up Huff. Hope you enjoy your walk with your doggos.
really disappointed in those controllers, to be honest. They're much worse than the ones before. Yeah, it's um, it's got to do with this kind of green initiative that they're trying to put forward in the next ten year here. So, too much waste from electronics and that. They've got to be more repairable. They've got to be easier to repair. You know, like controllers, if one of the analog sticks goes sideways, you can basically throw away the controller and go get another one. Well. I think they might force them so it's easy to open the controller and replace the piece. Well, of course, they'd have to supply pieces as well, but they'll probably get their money back with the pieces. Uh, there's still little things to be worked out, I suppose. But definitely the, the cell phone industry. That needs an overhaul. They want to try and get rid of this kind of disposable culture. And to be honest, I think that's good. I can remember when, you know, soda came in glass bottles and be charged to a deposit for the last bottle <laughs> and you would get your deposit back when it, when it was returned. Now those were the days. <laughs> oh, hi Blue Phoenix. Hi, how are you? Hope you've been well. How have you been keeping? There we go, guys. It's round two. I like it. I like it. Now this. Um, this would be a good... Well, I could do... Well, to be honest, I could do the armor pieces on these. This is a great spot to do the armor pieces. Yeah. I could see myself do it here. Right, we'll leave the armor thing. So we need to sleep. We need to save. Well, oh, that's 5 p.m. So yeah, why not? And then we we'll see if we can get the other pieces in. What is this? Oh, hi, uh, Bubblegum. Sauerkraut. This is North Hagen Beach. Um, it's the settlement just across. Um, the ocean from the Brotherhood of Steel Base, you know, with the Bridwin and Boston Airport. We're doing this with uh, Xbox. We're using three building mods. Uh, well, here mostly Snappy House Kit and USO, but there is some SOE as well. Oh, that's good. I totally agree with that, Perry. Yeah. There should be a lot more recycling. But so soda tastes so much better from glass bottles, you know. Same. No, we don't have it here anymore. It's all gone sideways. Now, I'll just save this. And I'll show you what we've been doing, Bubblegum. I still have a bit to do on this, but I've got 98% of this finished, I'd say. Just get rid of this one. And I'll show you what we've done. We spent about maybe a hundred and fifteen hours or so, I'd say, on this. That's not unusual for this kind of a build. I've done some that took twice as long. Now, I'll jump off the roof 
and um, that's just a piece I was working with. And I'll show you, I'll give you a quick tour and then I'll carry on building. We haven't got our settlers in yet. I expect to get about 20 in here. So this is our build. I'll show you the outside and then I'll quickly run to the inside and then I'll get back to building. It's it's fairly big. I always do a kind of settlement sign and this one is a bit ornate. We call this one El Dorado, which I thought was fitting. I'd also put some of my friends or viewers you know, tag on this as well. A different one for each settlement. Oh, well, that's good, Terry. <laughs> so we have large gardens here. Well, I've got to scrap these stupid things later. So the gardens are like this. I will have settlers all over the place eventually. Now this is the centre of the settlement and it's surrounded by this moat. Which feeds out this way here to the back gardens. These are the back gardens. And that's where it comes out of here and it feeds you know, these pools here. I used to be, I used to fit food turning cans to get my deposits back, but my aunt doesn't see the point in a few cents, and he refuses to save them for recycling. Money in the trash, I tell him. Yeah, plus, you know, by doing it, you're kind of doing your part as well, you know? Yeah, you're kind of doing your part. Yeah, some people are like that. Oh, well, thank you, Terry. So that's the back garden. This is our shrine. And that's this section done. Oh, in the main building. We have a kind of sacrificial chamber. This leads onto a balcony area. I might have to do something in here a little later. Yeah, I just might have to do something here a little later. Which goes all the way around. And then let's say we have a main staircase here at the back. Which leads up to the section you've just seen us walking on. This will be our bedroom area. Here. And 
then we have this system here. Oh, we still have to do this, guys. And we've got a drone here. I mean, you've seen us just working on this. Probably a little offering area. And this is right at the top where we have another little little garden here. And of course, we have some crows as well. And that's it, Bubblegum. That's everything we've done so far. If you're still there, that is. Now, let's get on with the building. I'm back. Oh, welcome back, Hufflepuff. Always helps me relax. Oh, that's good. I've taken anti... Oh, sickness for your tummy. Cool. You see that? These were all in place. You see what happened when I reloaded? <laughs> they literally have to be done twice. Yeah. I think it's something got to do with the update from these guys. Ah, yeah. let's load again, guys. Let's see what the other ones move. They have to be done twice. Oh, hi, Killer Kai. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. And welcome, raiders. Hi, Microgram. Hi, how are you? <laughs> hi, Nasty Sniper. Hi, Geo. <laughs> Hello there. How have you been? <laughs> I was just showing someone... Uh, what we've been doing here, but about 98% finished, uh, Killer Kai. And I'll give you guys a little tour. But I'm hoping to finish it up on this stream, this settlement. Although adding the settlers can be a little bit complicated sometimes. They kind of get trouble. I'll show you what we've done on this so far. About 98% done, I'd say. There's still a little bit to do on the bedrooms. Well, 95 of you, you know, consider the settlers as well. There's still a bit of work to be done here. Oh. I just jumped down here. It's the small details, Killer Kai, that really starts to, you know, take the time. Main building is easy enough. It's adding the little details. I can be the killer. So that's what we've got so far. After finishing my lighting. So I'll give a quick run round on the outside and show you what we've managed to do on the inside. We have got a sacrificial chamber. We've got um, a shrine, a few other things. You see, I can't really put a ton of furniture in here. It doesn't really, doesn't really go with it. So we've been making our own stuff. <laughs> How many mods do I have? Not a ton. Um, about four or five. They're all old friends of mine I met in the very beginning, Killer Guy. Oh, you mean mods as in, not moderators, mods as in the pieces. Uh, here I'm only using... Um, Six, probably, in the game, yeah. Um, no, it's just when you said that, and then Terry made that comment, I thought you were referring to that. Um, well, here, about 90, 
About 90% of that build is snappy how it's good. Maybe 92%. The trees that you see are USO. The water is SOE. And I would say including decorating mods, 6, 7 probably. Mm. Mm. All of my bills are not vanilla, yeah. The only difference is, let's say, when I get here, the settlement is vanilla. I don't use any s mods, let's say, that would clean up settlements and that. The mods I take are mods that give me new pieces to build with. Mm. I played on an Xbox, so only have 150. I'm only playing with maybe 40. And the vast majority of them are tiny. The only real building mods, you know, I have would be USO, SOE, and Snappy House Kit. Um, lighting mods and decorating mods, maybe 15-ish. Yeah. About 15-ish. But if you're familiar with Snappy House Kit, these pieces are really meant for balconies. You know, but you can make other things if you, you know, if you try. So we've got that thing here. We've got two large gardens running each side. On this, so they're quite large, and of course this one here is a little different. So that's the garden area. Hmm. Hmm. I have to go to. I catch you late, crock of gold. Have a good stream, and thanks for stopping by and reading, Killer Kai. I hope you have a good rest, and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Take care and stay safe, Killer Kai, and thanks again for the raid. Bye. So all the way down. The main building here is surrounded by this moat. Which in turn, let's say, feeds the water features on the other side from here. You know, like this. Which apparently feeds all these guys. <laughs> I will be adding a few crows on this tree later. Not a lot if I can remember to do so. And basically the same on this side. Now oh, here we have our shrine. And then the main building here. Oh, my pleasure. My friend Dead Will Power told me to watch a calming streamer until I get sleepy. Oh. So here, this is our sacrificial chamber. And the staircase took up a lot of room, so I we still managed to make it work. I'll be having NPCs, settlers in here later. This would be handy, let's say, just to lay leave our blade probably. You know that Pikmin and Blade or that other one would probably do. So that's our sacrificial chamber. 
and this is a walkway that goes all the way around. I still have to work at some doors later. I have a lot of Twitch friends. Oh, that's good. And this leads up to the area we were just working on. In the bedroom area. So I'll we'll be putting beds here probably. Armor stands in here. I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do on each of these sides, but I was thinking maybe something like this. And kind of go through with, um, you know, kind of um, maybe whole flowers or something. Bring it back to about here. Mm, who knows, might work. But something like that, I'd say. That would probably work. Um, main stairs here again. And of course, the Amazonians must have a queen, so we've got a drone here. And this will be a kind of, well, once I scrap the rubbish, this will be a kind of offering area. Once I reset these pieces and something here. And then that will be it, let's say, finishing with this garden, which is already finished. And that's it, guys. That's everything I've done so far. Twitch has helped me a lot. And that's good. Yeah, Twitch can be, well, s social media can be helpful, but it also can be hurtful, it's like everything else, you know. But if you're lucky enough to, you know, find the right friend, yeah, totally. Now, let me load up, and we'll get this guy done. You're very good at building. Fix my bedroom, please. <laughs> now, my dear, oh, let's get these ones here. Yeah, these new um, controllers from the Xbox X series are. Dollar store rubbish. And that's how I would describe them. Absolute rubbish. It's contagious, you know? <laughs> now. Oh. Now I'm hoping we don't have to do this again. Something about that stupid place down here. Where oh, that's ridiculous. That could give us a problem, guys. You see this one? I can't grab it. I'll have to change the settings for that guy, but I think we should be able to get it after this. Um, I want to hold on to that in case I need it for the glitching piece later. I don't want the trouble of building one again. Uh, it should work. Oh, this is a new thing I've seen with these candles. I've always got to reset them twice once you reload. These are from um, Creative Flutter. But I've been acting pretty weird since the update there, about three, about three months ago.
see how wrong that is. That's a joke. That's an absolute joke. There. Very, very hard to um, to get us a, a grip on that one. There we go, guys. That seems to be the end of our problems. We'll see. These ones sank to roughly the same level as the ones across the way. Almost done. That's it. That should be it. Can't see any more problems with that. My phone has a mind of its own, yeah? <laughs> it's killing it, everyone. Good night, much love, and thanks for helping me relax. No problem. Our pleasure, Perry. Hope you get a good rest. Hope you have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe, Terry. Bye. And there we go, guys. Now, I need to save this. Well, actually, that should be pushed. You see these two? Yeah, a fraction, isn't it? It looks okay on this, but just, just a tiny fraction, I think. On those four, I'm back. And welcome back, Tigger. <laughs> welcome back. Oh, yeah, they're a tiny bit off, guys, but not much, not much. There we go. Perfect. Oh, as for these guys here, but there, uh, that looks reasonable. Yeah. Okay, I'll save it here. That's now here. I need something a little different here, so... Oh, my pleasure, Tigger. We're going to have to try something new on this. Um, I'm looking for something different. 
Uh, I'll try a few different things here, but... You see, we have no half pieces for this um, kind of gilded um, snappy house stuff, unfortunately. Well, we need something a little different on this. Um, well, I don't want to kind of build it up, and that's, that's for certain. Um, I could if I wanted to be very easy to put a piece in. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do this. And tell me what you guys think. Let me just take one of these here. Uh, you see, that would be my problem, stopping it from snapping like that. Maybe it, it's not such a good idea. Oh no, we can do it. You know, I'd be doing something like this. You see where we've got this on the center, so... We could come along with something like this and we could bring it right up to the tops of these, like so. I don't think it's too bad, actually. It's just a matter of getting it in line. Then I could start that other thing I was thinking about. But it would have to be, you know, pretty low on one side. Well, that's... we're almost back on. Yeah, just a little bit. You see that one there? We would move that to exactly there, and that would be perfect. Dead on. This, of course, would have to be a little bit more central. Two about there, and yeah, let's see, are we still in line? Okay, tiny bit off, tiny, tiny, tiny. Yeah, that would work. It's actually showing on this end, and not on this. Ah, uh, this could be an issue. Yeah, kind of. Um, how am I going to manage this? I'm really not happy with that, so what I'll do is we'll hide it. We'll have to go all the way down and we'll hide it behind this. There we go. There we go. That's it. Now, that's enough, so it doesn't show on the floor beneath, so we're pretty good on that. We'll leave that, we might need it. You know, it's not showing here. Okay, round two. Yeah, that would break this down nicely as well, I think. Hmm. That might work. 
Now, let's see what time it is. Looks about four or five. Two. My god, it's pretty dark. Yeah, that's a bit better. Now we're we'll saved there because I took a bit of trouble to get that one in. Oh, what's that glitching over in the corner? Mm. That one there. I'll have a look at that in a moment, see if I can stop it. I hate it when that happens. Okay, um, something here. I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll see. It will probably be a little on the high side. Hmm. We're going to find out sure enough in a moment. That's the only thing I can think of, let's say, for the sides. There we go. Depends on where it snaps. Yeah, let me try that one again. I still think if we could get this one in, guys. Look pretty decent. I could never get that stupid thing to. <laughs> yeah, you'd never get anything to fill that circle. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about was you'd never get nah. Silly. Now, there's that larger piece of junk. These guys here. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, I definitely won't do these, will we? Nah, they wouldn't fit anyway. Cool. <laughs> I will be putting that there. There would have been interesting. Crowded. Yeah, I would be really into that. Now, what have we got? This is the guy I would like to use, but it might be coming a bit high for what we want. It would. I would have to get another piece in. What's that like? Uh, might be too high. Probably. Hmm. Where's that stupid piece? There it is. I get a way of making this and then we'll... C. 
see if we can... You know what I mean? Yeah. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Come on. Ah, no, that's the problem. Um, where are you? I don't think we'll stop that snap. Oh, cool. This is exactly what we want. Yeah, something like that, if we can get the measurement right. I'd say that would be a good fit. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close. There. And then we could just add a few candles on that little guy. Mm, might work. Oh, we got this guy. Yeah, you see, that was always going to be an issue, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was. Okay, I could glitch it. Why not? Well, do we even need to add another one? Not really. Oh, I see. This guy will move out. That's cool. There. That would work. Totally. Yeah. Let's see. Ah. Uh, crumbs. Ah, oh, that's a pity. How far will we need to move that guy up? That is a pity. Okay, we'll check it out, Dad. This one here needs to be moved around a bit. You see this? that guy up. Come on. No, no, no. There. And I should fix both of them. <sighs> yeah. That would do. Now let's see where we are. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Um, there's one little thing more we could do here on this before we add what? We'll try and get the larger candles on that, or maybe the, um, the other ones we used. Um, Let's see that one. There's one other thing I just want to try. Oh, there's a few things I want to try, but... Not on 
satisfied. There they are. for a moment. Huh. I don't know, maybe not the worst look. I don't know. Yeah, okay, we we'll see if we can get the two on the other side. I kind of like them. What is it about the last piece? Oh, it seems to be the hardest. That is something... Oh, there you go. Yeah, I like it. I actually like that. Design on this. No, it's not going to work on that side. I'm not going out that far with it, so let's see if we can fit one beside. Not a hope. And I'm definitely not opening up that can of worms. Might be able to try. But I would have to save this beforehand. And then we could pop those two in. I think that was just the last little piece we needed on that. And this here could do with a kind of break. Right, let's give it a try. <clears throat> Did you catch any good movies lately, Taylor? Watching much TV. Oh, I see. That's what I'm looking for in here. I like it. Yeah, I like it. It works. Perfect. No, we didn't do a stairs. At the, we did do a stairs at the other end. Uh, we're going nowhere till we get that one in.
Hmm. Yeah. I think that's definitely what we want. We've already got the brakes here on this. Yeah. I wouldn't mind trying, to be honest. Here, yeah, let's see. I wouldn't mind trying this. I just sent Dad to a friend. Not really, I was watching. Oh, Ultimate Cowboy. I just sent Dad to a friend thinking I was texting you back. <laughs> I've seen that happen before, but let's say the texts, yeah, <laughs> they were different than that. <laughs> uh. Don't make it all too confusing now, anyway. <laughs> Way too confusing. <laughs> He's going to be like, what? <laughs> I was watching Ultimate, not really, I was watching Ultimate Cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a nice little detail, you see that, the neat. Really takes the eyes off off that piece. Let's try the other side. I think it's worth an extra tiny bit of effort to get the head. Better go in properly. I see. That's kind of weird, that one. How did the other guys go in? Oh, they're pretty flush. Yeah, they're very, very flush. Hmm. Kind of flush like that one. ridiculous. No, we won't do those. No. Be right back, have to text him now, no problem, Tigger. <laughs> no, that's okay. Leave good enough alone. Okay, um, yeah, we've got to finish this one, the two bits I was talking about here. Let's have a look at these. I might be able to do something with them. Possibly so. Fight these little guys again. Uh, we're gonna put these so we can use them. Yeah, uh, there. There. Now, oh, it's kind of weird. Interesting look. I wonder. I wonder. It is a kind of interesting look, isn't it? Here, let me get that other silly piece.
Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's smacking the other side. Not exactly what I wanted, I needed it. Yeah, see, it's too far in. Even that's okay, we can get the other guy in. Yeah, it's inconsistent, isn't it? Very inconsistent. Hmm. Let me make the two other pieces and I'll see if I can come up with a design. I have something in mind. I have something in mind. I think these pieces are here. Yeah, these ones. I want two of these. They're a bit light. Where am I going to make these silly things? There. And then we'll change the settings and see if we can do anything with them. Right. Round three. Timing is pretty good. Damage control, yeah. <laughs> ah, as far as sending the wrong text goes, it wasn't too bad. Okay. Oh yeah, change the settings. Grid snapping on. Now, <clears throat> yeah, a bit dodgy enough. Oh, maybe if I could get the other one just like that, you know, on the other side, or something very, very similar. Problem the rent on one side as well. Uh, you could easily fit one on the outside, but that's not the way I want to go. It's the inside I'm more interested in. See if you had it in the right place you could possibly work this, but I don't think you'd be working these. I think they're totally the wrong size. You could do something like that, but... Ah, that's a pity. It's kind of nasty. Huh. I don't know how we'd manage that one. Oh. 
there guys I see they're not exactly at the same well they are they're on the almost third line well if that's the case that one is off not really I know seems to be a little bigger than the other one, but... Yeah, it's not the right piece. I don't know. One looks slightly bigger than the other. It is actually. Even though this one looks bigger, this one is actually not coming out enough. I think it's the side it's turned on. No. The only way we would work these would be like this. You know what I mean? That's the way I'll do these. I'm not going to do them at all. We put these guys in like so. We are covering up this. And we'd have to get the other guys to a certain level. So. I don't need that snapping. This would be kind of like a one shot deal. See, there we go. I've got to mess it up. No, they won't work at all. I need a different... Um, I need a different uh, plan for this one. Or to try. They're a waste of time. Alright. Let me work it out on top. Hmm. I have one other plan as well. And we could choose the reeds. Yeah, kind of interesting, but I'm thinking we place it here. I'd say... Statue could do a little adjustment as well, couldn't it? There. No damage really, he is just a friend. Ah, oh. I am happy to have a face to the voice croak. <laughs> hey, th I might be catfishing you, uh, Hufflepuff. That might be a photo of some 
big Hollywood movie star. <laughs> yes, I'll eventually, once I get round to it, they were actually on a walk today, the other two guys, so I had Rex. So, when I get a chance again, I'll post one of uh, Max and Toby. Yeah, I will. I did promise I'd, I'd send a picture of them. I just might be a little slow getting around to it. Uh, yeah, I think we rocked that one, guys. And what we were doing, that we get rid of that junk. That one, that one, and that one. And then I'd go with these guys here. Toby is a little different than Rex. Lighter in colour, smaller face. Um, I think he's been, like, let's say kind of classic poem that Rex is and I think probably his mum no actually it was his dad I think or his granddad might have been a teacup poem so he looks more um, small in the face brighter colour and Max is a crossbreed hmm. mine get all treats so I'll hope they get her one later <laughs> yeah, oh, cool. Hmm. <laughs> but Rex is the guy who loves all the cuddles. Toby sometimes, but he's not as needy as Rex. Yeah, I'll post shots of the other guys on Discord when I can get around to it again. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Handsome? Hi, Tigger. Um, this one. And... Where is this guy? Yeah, I think it's here and... I think they're actually in here. I'll show you the guy. Uh, I don't know, I think. They're not bad. Yeah, I do kind of like them, to be honest. And it's kind of consistent with, you know, what we've done downstairs. I might go with those. I'm going to change the settings for those as well. And that would be our centerpiece. Hmm. I might have a look at the other stuff as well. <laughs> And, yeah, we're changing the settings. Grid snapping off. General snapping. Oh, hang on. I wonder. There. That might work. Hmm. These two here, I think, would work. I was even thinking about rewatching. It's been decades since I've seen it. Remember that old Deep Space Nine? It was okay in the beginning. Then I cut up, got caught up in one really long story, but it wasn't too bad. I think my favourite box set of those type of. Um, TV series was probably Babylon 5. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I just fell in love looking at you and Rex. Oh, you've been to Discord? Yeah, I eventually got around to, to posting one on that. 
No. Yeah. Okay, well, I have to do it the hard way, guys. I'll eventually get around to posting one of Toby and Max. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. <laughs> Okay, low calculation is actually, where is it? That one. Uh, the collision. Mm. Okay. We might have to reset this a second time after a reload, but uh, we'll just take a second to uh, fix the creative clutter stuff. It's kind of funny lately. <laughs> you completely. <laughs> Now, I'm forever thirsty at night for some reason. That's probably just the humidity. Yeah, these two. And to be honest, I think we can call it at that. I think we have it any more. It's just gonna be kind of ridiculous. Unless something pops up that's, you know, really a good idea. That and maybe this one. Hmm. Yeah, you see. I'm really happy with that. There we go, guys. We've got it. I think that's the best we can do with that. I don't want to place anything on the top. But that would probably work. Mm. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I want to try, but I think it might be silly. This is in the SOE pieces. There's a few other interesting programs I've seen. A few about dragons. Not too big into the dragon thing, but they look pretty interesting. Uh, Rings of Power. That seems to be okay. Only problem there is not many episodes. I need to find some kind of old thing I've never seen before where there's like tons of episodes. And decorations. So we there. These are 
Kind of interesting, I suppose. You know, we could kind of... Do something like this. I've seen worse. I'll go down a bit more. Yeah, maybe. But that would be it just to take a look from this. We push that too. Just get rid of that one. Yeah. That's it. That would do it. Yeah, okay, that's all over. So. We've got our little shrines each side. Pretty decent, okay. Oh, I think that's it. Get rid of this and start on the end. Get the end. Hmm. Okay. Now, I think this is pretty much done as well. There's not much more we can do. to do unless we find something a little better um, right I'll just move these and then and there's two large sections each side of the stairs there's only one way I can you know work out what to do with this and that will be some kind of flower area unfortunately Yeah, we'll push that in there for a moment. So, this, maybe. Now, mm, my problem with this is, you know, I don't think it's all 100%. You see that? And I can't snap it too far through the floor. I'll see if I can, uh, well, Maybe going centre with that. Well, it's going to be easier said than done, you know, actually getting this guy to to snap straight. Mm. Oh, we'd have a problem here, but we could stop here, let's say, and then carry on. So it would be like from there and there what we want to have. Not good. Okay. We see if we can figure this out. We see if we can figure it out. Okay, if we can do something with this. Basically all we have to do is add the beds and a few little pieces in the rooms which go quickly and I'll probably go with armor racks here. 
That would do it. So, how are we going to manage this? This is probably the way to go, but as I said, getting this to work is another thing. Oh, hi Stephen. Hi, how are you? Hope you've been doing well. <laughs> So, what have you been up to, Stephen? We're almost done with this settlement. I've just got to figure out what to do with these two edges. Um, put our beds in our bedroom and maybe a little bit of decoration. I know it doesn't seem like much, but you know how long it can take. And maybe some armor racks in here. Then I'd say... You know, we might be pretty much done. So it just needs a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. So what have you been up to? This is my big problem here. Well, that's actually a decent size. Um, let's see. Ah, that... You know, we're getting it to... to wor oh, hang on, we can... We can probably do it this way. Yeah, it's possible, I suppose. There's no half pieces, so we would probably... Ah, come on. Where's my, um... This one. That might help me. Okay. We might as well give it a try. I'm grand, thank you. I hurt my back. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So they give me two weeks, oh my, of morphine patches. And it's been rough. So sorry to hear that, Stephen. Now hopefully it will improve and you'll get better soon. But yeah, it would be quite bad, let's say, when you get the morphine patches. I was too stubborn to take mine. I don't know what the pain is like. You know, I feel great now. So it got you over the the, better, the worst part of it. Ah, oh, good. That's good. So hopefully, it's you know nothing too serious, and you know it won't it won't be a constant thing. You know, if it's just a kind of you know one-off injury. You know, those you can live with. Those you can definitely live with. You see what it's doing to me here? See, I want to go halves on this, but this will not let me. I need to go up just one more on that. But I don't think I can stop the snap. Maybe that's not so bad. Although, to be honest, that would take a lot of room. I mean, a lot of room. Let's see how much room we're talking about. Okay. Let's see if we bring it back to where it should be there. Okay, let's say we try something like that. And we'll give it a chance, we'll see how it looks. Oh, hi, AUB. I hope you've been well. How have you been? Oh, fine, thanks. And hoping you're good too. 
How have you been keeping? They made me feel so sick. Yeah. Yeah. But it did take the edge off. Hmm. And it let me sleep a bit. It flares up if I agitate it, but it calms down eventually. But normally, months. Yeah, not two weeks. And that's how it was with me, Stephen, when I got my injury. I was literally screaming. Literally screaming for three months. They begged me to take morphine. I wouldn't take it. Mm. I was sleeping I was sleeping just in my pajamas on the cold tile floor. You know, just to try and take the pain away. The only time I ever got any rest is when I passed out. That really made my sleep uh, problems much worse. You know, even now I'm still suffering. You know, the effects, we're talking three, four months of that. Eventually the pain subsided. I don't know, maybe it got a little better, or maybe my body just adapted to that kind of insane pain. Hmm. That was a rough patch for me, Stephen. I did not sleep for the last, oh my God, three days. And I think I'm finally going to be able to sleep today, so I'm good. Nice. Be sure to get your rest, AUB. You need it. Even, let's say, if you feel like you don't need to sleep, you know, darken your room and, and give it a shot. Hopefully you'll eventually, you know, nod off. Um, constantly not being able to sleep for long periods of time will kind of change your sleep rhythm. You know what I mean? And um, once you get into that, you know, it's like going to a different time zone. You know, you'll, you'll kind of get used to that and, you know, it just keeps getting worse. And hopefully you'll get over it. That's kind of... Yeah, you see what I mean? Really need to be bringing this up, guys, a bit. Um, I could do a little experiment on this. Now let's see if we can get that silly thing to flip. You know what I mean? So... We could use one of these guys, I think this would be sensible. You see something like that. And then use that as our snuff point. There you go. Croc always finds a way. We'll probably have to push it in, but... We need it to be... You know, kind of central with this edge. Done not bad. I don't really need to be walking around it. Come on, you little thing. Now. I think actually that's not bad. The space to each side is about the same. I actually think that's not bad. I think we get away with that. Totally. I was in pain. Yeah. For five months. Can I absolutely relate, Stephen? But then I took codeine and that changed my life. But they uh, took all oh, they had to, Stephen. They had to. And, you know, it's lucky you got, let's say, doctors, GPs, or whatever that, you know, didn't keep you on them too long. That was just to get over you, the worst patch, you know. So if they took them all, you off them, let's say, you know, once things should have getting better, they knew their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, how are you, Stephen? <laughs> Croc is an organic hippie. All natural. <laughs> Correct, Stephen. 
I will go hop on Granny's stream real and then I have so many assignments to get done. So have one you're nice talking to you all. And you too, eh, you be. I hope you manage to get some sleep and I hope you have a great day. Thanks again for stopping by. Take care, you be. Bye. Someone with the name A U B. Yeah, take care. <laughs> yeah, they were good doctors. They knew their stuff. Just kept you on those, let's say, as long as they had to. Some, let's say, are not that good. Now, I think that's the way to go, guys. Yep. If we can keep that line going, I think we'll be pretty good. We'll use it from here and see where we need to go, but let me get under this for a moment. And we'll see if it's giving us you know, any trouble. Well, it wouldn't here, would it? No. I think we'd be pretty good. Yeah, there it is. That one. So everything on each side. Ah, what's that? Yeah, it would have to come up. Well, it's not too bad, is it? Well, because it will be consistent on both sides, you know. There it is there, but we want it exactly. I really don't like it. That is a problem. That is a serious problem. That is a serious, extremely serious problem. No. I'll have to find the right size. That looks horrible. Absolutely horrible. Okay, let's sleep and we'll give it another shot. We'll give it one more shot. But I think that would be the way to go. Hmm. Yeah. Now I just take... Never heard of those. A muscle relaxant to stop the tensing up and the cramps. The unbelievable cramps. I get on the backs of my legs. They're really good with that. Yeah. Uh, depending on a country you're in, it's basically almost the same drug, just change names, companies and that. Hmm. Oh, it's as strong as that. Cool. Yeah, this is a good plan, but the height is the problemo. So, once I solve that, we could even take it down here, and we'd only have to get the level once. And that's a huge, a huge dent just to get these done, and then we just have to focus on the rooms, you know. We just have to, that's the worst about tin flooring on these. I remember with the marble USO I used to do double flooring. That helped a lot with this kind of stuff. But here we couldn't. I saw one of your YouTube videos. 
Can you say, and it looks so good. Oh, well, thank you, Stephen. Like an Egyptian pyramid, and South African, South American. Sorry, yeah, and that kind of South American kind of um, Mayan Inca kind of thing. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of those roofs on those. Um, what do they call them? Chinese pagodas, is it? Yeah. Except it's you know a little less kind of slanty. But yeah, we're always going for a pyramid here. I, w I would love to do a true pyramid, but the pieces I have wouldn't allow that. You know, the angles. So the next best thing was a step. Well, the Egyptians started off with step. And then they decided to, you know, kind of fill in the pieces. And then they refined their work, let's say, uh, many times, well, not many times, I think 500 years later. I started building them, let's say, you know, at that angle. But a true pyramid takes a huge amount of room on its base. The only place you, even if you had the pieces, you'd get away with a decent-sized pyramid would be the likes of Spectacle Island. Mm. That's the only place. You would get away with that one. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now we see if we can raise the height on this. This is a delicate little guy. But we can't have it, and that was my biggest concern. You know, pushing down too far. So let's, let's have a look at this again. And let's say, there. Oh, this would be the way to do it, guys. This is an extremely good way. We can use this. If you know what I mean. And we come like this. And we're gonna... We get a reasonable measurement. You see that one there? That's, that's pretty reasonable. This might be kind of easy. If you know what I mean. We might just get this one. I know it's a little high, but we could fill with water, I suppose, if we wanted to. We'd definitely get away with water. There. Okay, we should be able to get through this quick enough, then, if... You know, that's the situation. Stephen with a PH is gifting... Oh, well, thank you, um, Stephen. Thanks for the gift sub. I appreciate it. That was nice of you. No problem, Tigger. Thanks for working. I hope you enjoy your TV. I hope you get a good rest. And I hope you have a great day. Stay safe, Tigger. Bye. So there we go, that one there. Another here. And then to the other side. We'll dream up some kind of silly thing for this. Then that's it, we're good to go. Oh yeah, we've got to fill this in. Oh, the flowers are not a bad. Not a bad. One, I'd say, okay. Let's slip down and see if they're showing out now. But I think that's perfect fitting. Not a sign of them. There you go. That's it. Okay. We know what we need. 
So let's get these other guys in. And we'll get working on this. This should be relatively quick, I'd say. So, we've got the back guys. We'll just tear this apart here for a moment. And I'll figure out where these guys are. There. On that there. Two back from the end. Ah, slightly different. See, that's the killer for me now, isn't it? These run on a different, um... They'll have... <coughs> excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, no problem, Tigger. Oh, it must be dust or something. Oh. Yeah, okay. Two back from here. I think we'll be able to do it and mark it from here, I'd say. This is like what? One, two, fully. From here, then we'll be turning this to something like this. And here's one, two. And we'll be working it from there. So, yeah, two and the overshoot coming that way. One, two, that's it there. Let's see if we can get this kind of right. I pretty much think that's it there. That I think it goes up a bit. Although that one is, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Two. Yeah, we'll have to chance it that way. You see that little piece there? There. That's actually where I think it should be. Now, let's fill it in. We'll try it from there. Oh, why well thank you, Tigger. <laughs> now, um, I think it's in here, isn't it? Somewhere? Yeah. Kind of as fast as that. Now, let's see if these are all lined up. Which I'm sure they are. Come on. Wrong. <laughs> oh my god. There you are. Now. 
Well, they're apparently right. I just want to make sure. Oh, yeah. I don't know, the other one seems to be up a bit closer, doesn't it? I can't explain that, to be honest. No, no. It's about right. Yeah. Kind of. <sighs> I can't explain that now. Talking about pulling that up a tiny bit more. Although it looks to be okay, but so much for looks. I think it's the other one. Oh, I know the mistake. I get it, I get it, I get it. It's the other piece. You see that one there? It has to be that one. That's the piece. There. That's the one there. That would work. Okay, we have it. Come on, dude. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. Got it. Alright. Now, I just need to get the other side done. I will take one of these down to help us. I will leave you there for a moment. See that slight turn there. There's always a slight turn in there. You can literally see that. Don't be like that. Insufferable. There. That's the way that would work. There, simple as that. Once we get one piece in, we know exactly where to put it. We'll be good to go. Oh, hi, Phoenix. And now, this guy. How did we do it last time? Okay, before we mess this one up. I think we went with something... Something like this, wasn't it? Ok, 
kind of roughly. Something like that. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's the wrong one. Cool. I need to put it on the other guy. Right down here. I need a nap. <laughs> Oh, uh, I could do it with one myself, but just couldn't sleep. Oh, the lap sounds really good. I think that's where we need to be. And that didn't take too long, actually. Ta-da! That's both sides done with those. That should be in perfect line. That's good. I'll talk to everyone later. Already dozed off a bit, so I'm gonna crash, no problem. I hope you get a good rest, um, Phoenix. Yeah, definitely, if you can sleep, doze, or a rest, you should always take it when you get the chance. Especially if you're finding problems sleeping. I hope you have a good one, Phoenix. Take care and stay safe. Bye. I can only seem to doze off for a few hours if I'm up about maybe... Seventeen, eighteen hours during the day. And sometimes I find myself nodding off for about ten minutes. Not healthy. Yeah. That would work. Of course the other side will be a bit different because there's no door. Um, and that would be a good spot, let's say, for our special armor. Hmm. How far does that go across on that side? Let me save this as well. Oh. A whole full panel. That might work. That just might work. So, we either fill these with water or flowers. We'll see in a moment. Now, or, or, I can fill it in with this again, we'll make it all kind of gold colored. And I could um, possibly add more of those silly candles. Either way, it's probably good. Or, even better again, I've got those museum pieces. You know, those um, kind of plate things. Hmm. Might be better. We have enough flowers. Hmm, okay. Now, 
let's see here. I want to do something like, let's say, I'm doing here, and I have a kind of rough plan. I'm not sure about the edging. Okay. I'm totally not sure. I just want to snap back in later. But it's worth a shot. Oh, hi, Code. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. I hope you're well also. How have you been? Well, I hope. We're basically on the last of this. I've just got to finish these two sides and then the bedrooms. And the llama racks here and there. But we finished the stairways. Well, let me get that out of the way for a moment. We've been working on this here. But we're finished the stairways once and for all. We got our throne fixed up. And up here, we've done something like this. Surprised how long it was to get that together, especially these guys. So we're pretty much done up here. So just that last section to go. Oh my god, you slept for 11 hours. Well, that's good. You know, you managed to get some good rest. You know, you probably needed your still healing. That's what we've got. I needed something just to fill this area. I think this kind of works. Now when we fill in both sides, we've only got the beds and things to do. Now, okay. I have a kind of plan for this. Stairs was a bit of a problem, but we eventually got it. Now I get some soda. Yeah, but you always, you know, manage to get some good hours in when you're recovering. You know, your body literally needs it. Now, <coughs> this is my plan. Um, there's a doorway the other side, so we won't be doing anything in the center. And these I want to sort out, let's say, for maybe armor racks for the Amazonian outfits. We might be able to get some weapons on the side. Um, so, there's two types. I wanted to keep one, let's say, for the leader here, the Amazonian queen, so we'll put her armor rack here, maybe. But either way, we need a kind of platform. So, this is what I'm thinking, and we'll get away with it here because of the, the dead space. I think each side, you see it? Uh, the problem would be, you know, once I fit this in, would I be able to add these back. That's the thing I'm not sure about. Would they snap over it? No, oh, what even about these? No, you won't be able to get the side pieces. In. So, it would be these guys here. I just need to snap it somewhere. There, and we basically push it. 
Okay, all right, too, like this. We bring that. Well, we'll see where we're going to bring that now in a moment. Remember, there'll be a piece coming on that, so we want to be getting it back. You know, a decent amount. What about there? That would be pretty good, I'd say. So we line this guy up. Hopefully we'll get away with this. Silliness. We'll make sure. Okay, just a tiny bit. You see where my little de plan depends on getting a corner piece on this. And actually, you know, pushing it through that. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I don't know if that would work. No half pieces, unfortunately, or quarter pieces. That would be a game changer if I could get those ones. Oh, no, we wouldn't be able to find a piece for it. Right. I want the other guys actually. They're a little bit more ornate. Ah, we never use that. I hate those. I think I wouldn't mind trying it. I actually wouldn't mind trying that. You'd never get the pieces in you'd want, no matter what way you'd lich. No, it would have to go back too far. Now, where's the ones I was looking for? Kind of interesting. I would want the snap on the other side, to be honest. Yeah, kinda, come on. Ah, uh, no. Silly. Right. We'll literally be going in with this guy. He's... Ooh. Yeah, it's not having it, guys. It's absolutely not having it. Okay. Couldn't use those anyway. And it's not having it. See this work, but I'll try it. You see, oh, hang on. You see where well, we gotta snap these guys in, but I don't know. Maybe we could. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Now I'm pretty good with that. Let's say, if it's not seen from the other side. Oh, good evening, Jumpy. I'll be mostly lurking tonight, I think. No problem. And thanks for stopping by on Lurking Jumpy. I appreciate it. And I hope you've been well. Yeah. That would probably work. And I could always push it in a little bit. I could choose... Yeah, probably two or not. Or even... Maybe something else if we could find it. Which, yeah, not bad. It seems to be central as well. Okay, that little problem is sorted. I might even go with something else. 
Now, is it a problem in here? Oh, it's a massive problem. It was only one piece. I would have to use a half piece, guys. It's not going to work. Drat. It actually wouldn't work. Now, I have another plan. How about we do something like this? And I'll push those in a little bit more. And what we'll do is, we'll create our own little stand, I'd say. And that might be a little bit better. You know, something like that. Maybe not what we were first intending, but... And then we come across for this. And we still get a little area. I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm pretty good with that. That would probably work. Did I have a question though? How'd you get your name? Well, the croc, um, that was my, um, my nickname at school, a long, long, long time ago. There's very few people, let's say, left alive, and that's to call me Croc, but there's a few. And that was a nickname. Actually, when I was really young, it was used um, to tease me. So I actually adopted it and um, kind of made it mind. And that took the fun out of it for them. <laughs> it was, it's got to do with my surname. You know, Croc, Crocodile. I know, silly. You know how kids, kids can be. So, I've had it since I was about... 10, I suppose. And then the All Gold. Um, I was trying to figure out a tag. So... I kind of played with the word croc, as in like, you know, C-R-O-C, or then C-R-O-C-K, like croc. So I told him, let's say croc will go, so it, it's my nickname, let's say croc, without the K. And then oh gold, it kind of goes like croc of gold, and the Irish thing as well, so I thought it all kind of, um, it was apt. It suited. But it was an old nickname. <laughs> yeah, that little teasing there had kind of backfired on them. That would be actually, I think that would work. Now, we sleep and we save, so I'm kind of happy with that. get a save in here and we'll decide what we do with this little thing. I need to do something on this as well. Now, we could possibly go with a half piece on this. That's, that's kind of doable. We could raise the floor. We could add another piece, just providing we can hide it on this.
there's only two of these other pieces to deal with, so... I'll get something to put on these later. I'm torn between whether putting water on this very flowers or filling it in and using it like an altar table. I've got some museum pieces. They're not great, but you know, if I place them correctly, they might they might be a bit different. All right. Let's see if we can get this to work. Do they have any? No, they never had half pieces. I can't use a full one. A full one would not do as much as I would like to use it. You know what I mean? Well, we'll revisit that in a moment. It would make it too big anyway. So, we do this. That one there. That looks good. And oh, yeah, I think we could live with that. I think we could live with that. There, we just need one the other side. And that would do great for an armor stand. Yeah, it's not even complicated. Oh, snapping. Ow. Ouch. Ouchie, ouch. Well, when we get our bed in, we'll probably hide that, but... Okay. Here, let me, let me work on this. We might be able to drop it down just a tad, because, you know, I did want to kind of drop this to floor level anyway. This gives me an excuse to mess with this. Maybe we would have to do the same on the other one. Ah, I see. What about to there? You know, the kind of top of that, leaving that line and just go a little bit more. Just hiding it. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be showing through there. Most definitely will on this then. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, come along with that. I like that better, to be honest. And I'm almost certain it won't show through the floor because the floor was roughly the same height, so even if it's just a tiny bit above, it should work. I'm tired. I wonder if I went to bed, if I would sleep all night. It's 11 p.m. now. I suppose it's possible. You know, if like me, it, you know, it would be... I'll have to have it very, very quiet, very dark. Yeah, good chance, I suppose.
and we get the other one in. And I think it's dead center anyway. Oh yeah, I'm kind of the same, to be honest. I usually can't sleep to about maybe seven, and you know at five a.m. my time. You know, you'll hear me probably yawning a lot. And that's the way I work. Yeah. Around the same time. Now, this guy. You're always a problem, isn't there? There's literally always a problem. Ah, uh, here we go. How far we've come out with this. But I'm guessing there better be. I got pretty good on both sides. Ah, that's cruel. Yeah, okay, okay. Ah! There. <laughs> it's probably something with these guys. Well, leave it for a moment. And I can move these, or we can use the bed. The bed would probably hide it, but that's ridiculous. Ah, uh, well. I'll hide it with something. But it's not this piece that's the problem. It's these, most likely. Yeah. It wouldn't take much to move them if I get into, you know, real trouble. That's okay. We shan't worry about that till we have to. I have no pot till <laughs> tomorrow night. I might try to sleep. I can't focus on the game. Ah. And it's kind of cold out tonight. Here it's actually pretty decent. You know, not too warm, not too cold. I really don't want to be running in and out. Yeah, for cigarettes. Hi, Kim. Hi. How are you? I hope you've been well. How have you been keeping? <laughs> Just came in for a quick hi. And thanks for stopping by and saying hi, Kim. I appreciate it. We're finishing the last pieces here. I'm going to put some armor racks here and some kind of decorations or features on each side. So we're really starting to close down on this now. We finish our staircase. Which now looks like this. It took a bit of work, but we got there. Uh, 
And of course we managed to add a kind of Tron. Game of Thrones. <laughs> 4 a.m. I should be asleep. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, just after 4. And we did this here. I think that's the best we can get, let's say, with what we have. And the rest, you've seen the rest. You know, the the garden up top, we, we did that a while back. So just the two sides in the bedrooms, and I think we should be done. Should be done. And I'm kind of happy with these, so we'll leave these for a while. I'll make a few armor pieces. I will look while I fall asleep. No problem, Kim. And thanks again for stopping by, saying hi and looking. I appreciate it. I hope you manage to get a good night's sleep. And have a good day tomorrow. Stay safe, Kim. Bye. Okay, I'll just, if I can remember where the silly armor racks are. Yeah, so we have to go ahead, furniture, these guys need, yay. Now we need the female ones because we're going Amazonian with this one. So do we put one or two? Two, obviously. And then I'll put something in the center. I will cut see. I'll make the armors a little later. And there's one thing I want to see here now. Let's see if we can do this centerpiece. Not sure if it would snap central, but we could probably glitch it. You see that? Separating the two armors. Hmm. Oh, I'm tempted. It's actually not a bad look. It would all depend on, um, oh god, no, 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 too bulky, but I do need them, I want something to kind of separate these armors, I'd say, it might work here. I think the guys did a line wrong on this. And they actually did. <laughs> you see this? The lines are wrong. You see how the piece... How could they make such a mistake? But they did. <laughs> Something like that. And then we get our two armors here. I think that would be good. Yeah, I could see that work. I could 
see that work. Hmm. I have stuff from... Oh, I tell you what I could do as well. I wonder would it would be worth my while. Here, let me show you. Like a kind of base, I suppose. Yeah, the problem is it might be a little high for this. These guys. As long as it didn't, um, no show through the roof, I think, we'd be pretty good. My problem is fitting on this. Definitely don't want to get out here. Keeping these level. Wow. Now we're talking about total guessing. This down here. Mm. Oops. Ah, come on now. Let me come along with these guys. Yeah, you see, this is where we need to be kind of careful. That to be central would have to be roughly about there. And you're talking about coming back a decent amount on that. That would probably work. Kinda looks okay, to be honest. Oh, hang on, I just... There. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd say that would do. It's come together, but we should have no problem. I'll change the settings for these guys now in a moment, but something like that. I think that would work. Hmm. Okay, let me change the settings. If we can get one done, then I'll replicate it the other side. Oh, well, the grid snapping is on. Okay. the best we can get. I'll make the, um, the armor now in a second. We'll need four. Well, just to start with. It'd be one of each. Yeah. I think that's good. Now all we gotta do is replicate that on the other side. Um let's save this onto my chem bench and we'll make the uniforms. Uh see if we can get a weapon in here as well. That's what I really want. Now, There's a chemistry station that will do for a while. see it. I am nearly sure I turned it on, guys. Ah, uh, two somewhere traps. Oh. 
Okay. Let's see where this thing is. I'll check my mods. This is an important part of, part of it, so I gotta see. If it's turned on. It must have been taken. Yeah, to me it wasn't taken down. You are kidding me. It's not here. It's ah, it's not here. <laughs> I'll have to look on my favorite. It's got to be in there somewhere. That I didn't know. Hmm. That is so strange. I don't know what that one is. It should have been in more closed to clothing. Hmm. No. No, it should have been in here. Let's check the favorite section. <laughs> Maybe it was taken down. Okay. No, I'll have to quit the game to find the favorite section. Did I save this game? We'll save it, we'll quit. And we'll check before we go any further. I don't ever remember turning it off, so it might be gone. Oh, wrong one. I'm going to take these meds and try to get some sleep. I will be looking. No problem, Tigger. And thanks for stopping by, hanging out and looking. I hope you have a good rest and I hope you have a great day tomorrow, Tigger. Bye. Bye. It's Amazonian clothing um, cord. It was like an Amazonian outfit. Um, creative clutter. Da, da. Updates available. Another one for creative clutter. Voltec anywhere. Unofficial patch. I'll leave the updates for a while. Fallout 4 London. Ooh. What's going on here? Up to its right. Uh, library. Yeah, they were like Wonder Woman outfits. Hmm. Oh, my pleasure, Tigger. Is the mod down for maintenance, maybe? Yeah, I don't ever remember. It's just a simple mod, Perry. Um, it's it's quite plain, but um, I don't ever remember turning it off. I don't really do that. There it is, Amazonian princess armor. See it there? It's n it's it's actually downloaded. It's gone. It's gone. There, we put it in. 
I don't know how that got turned off. Yeah. But it's perfect for this. You know what I mean? Don't know why it uninstalled. That's weird. We'll check our space. I don't have a lot of space. Maybe I took it out because I needed space. Now, let's check our load order. Total 1.94. We just barely made it. Gigabytes. <laughs> I mean, we just scraped by Perry. Ew. Okay, let's move it up to where it should be with it's loading. This mod adds female if there's Wonder Woman. Maybe yes, in craft at a chemist station. Uh, reorder. We put it up at the loading. Where is the loading? There. Okay. <laughs> Just barely scraped in under the two gigabytes. Oh, oh my God. I probably took it out because I wasn't using it to get that stupid Mary Jane mod, it's huge. And all I get from it is the dancing mats. But I was desperate. This is only something you could use on one settlement, you know. Let me check it again. Is everything okay? Yep. Okay, we'll see. We definitely need it for this one. Is a yeah. No, I I must have uninstalled it to make room. I've only used it once. Hopefully we haven't done any damage, but I've used it before and it's, uh, it doesn't clash, you know. It's not showing up. Probably under utility. Yeah, Amazonian princess armor. Black. There's the princess armor and one in black. Okay. Let's have a look. There it is. Oh, we even get the push on there. Yeah, hmm. It is. You'd only use it once. And for something you'd only use once, for console, it's, it's a bit chunky.
No. That's probably just what we need. So what we'll do is the Queen will dress in black and probably the rest in this. I thought I'd go with one each. Probably work out. Hmm. At least we know where we're going. Um Right, let's save this. If I could get two of these, the problem with these, uh, they're a bit nasty. I was thinking if I could glitch them through the wall, and if they might still hold a sword. You know what I mean? We'll see. Now... Okay, it's not there anymore. Okay, we need what? Aluminum. Well, they're not a bad colour from the original ones, at least. You know, even if I have to use them. So I wanted uh, two types of swords, so we can easily get them. So we need some aluminum. Now that it's here, it has to stay forever, as long as this settlement is here on my save. Because if we remove it, we remove the armor. something I would prefer to go like that to be honest. Oh come on now. Oh come on. something like that and then I'll try and glitch it in and we'll see if the swords will work with it hmm up late so I thought I'd join for a bit hi Igma and thanks for stopping by I appreciate it so how have you been Igma hope you've been well yeah we're I don't like the colouring, I don't like anything about that, but if it was bordered maybe or something. But we'd have to get a sword on it first and then to see if we could border it and ditch something true. I have a few plans on that guy. But it's kinda chunky. Now oh, let's check for weapons. I've been great. Oh that's good to hear. Fine, fine thanks. Yeah. Yep. Still surviving. <laughs> so what have you been up to lately, Igma? You watch any new movies, play any new games? I 
hiding takes forever. Especially if you're trying to hide everything. Okay, so sword coming in Pikmin's play Golex X. The X is not bad. Hmm. And there's the one we use for the sacrificial blade, Shimmer, Ripper, Reckoning, Sweet Bed. Okay, it's probably going to be the Star Sword. And General Chato's Revenge. Pikmin Blade, the Gorak Axe. Okay, let's. Let's get. General Channel's Revenge. Okay. I think they look the same. Oh. That was a legendary. Ooh, damage fifty six. Okay, that didn't work. I think it might be the long rack, guys. No, we need a longer one. What about that one? Yeah, we need a longer one. And these are just for small weapons. Okay. We'll see if we can fit the long ones in. I've not been up too much. I'm looking for new games to buy, though, to be honest. Yeah, pretty much the same here with me. Find out how to get the games I like. So, oh, no problem, Court. Because i got a blade, have lots to do. No problem, I know you're busy. I'm all good now. Gonna play some Fallout myself. Nice. I'm building a Minutemen Historical Museum at Coastal College. Nice. Hard build in that Coastal College. The, um, the large crater is probably the biggest one on that house you can't get rid of. Usually I build up and around that one. And there's some trees as well that cannot be scrapped. What did I do there last time I course to college? I did um, a kind of ranger station zoo one time. And then I did a church. Yeah, I did a church as well. Only twice I built there with mods. Okay, it's the longer one. And this is the key. I'd say getting these weapons up and making them look half reasonable. I have a plan, maybe, to border it. Maybe. But I would need... I would need to get it up, and I would need to know if I glitched it in, let's say, if... If it would still, you know, work. So it would need to be a huge one. My god, that's huge. That, you see, something like that might not be a bad idea, and we glitch it down and find something to hide it, but goodness, that's um, that's a lot more than I expected to have to do on that. Let me just check something for a moment. See, I couldn't do much on that. That would be impossible. 
the only way to bring a, a piece across the top. The weapons, though, might not be as easy as I originally thought. Yeah, you could push a one in like that. It would still add, but, you know, how would I border this little guy? We would kind of... Okay, let's change the settings on this. It's still not a bad plan, you know, if I work this properly. It's just a top piece. Although Victoria Tree caught my eye. It's not out yet. I might even buy Europa Versailles for nice. No, there's nothing even out there catching my eye. Avowed did, but it's gonna be a while. I've never played any of the pillars once. Didn't even know they existed. But I'm gonna have to check them out. I'm definitely going to have to check them out. No, they don't fit through. Um, I can only see one way of doing this, guys. We would need the help of one of these little beauties, but you see they're much too, much too, much too big. And even at that, you know, it's, it's pretty iffy. I'm talking much too big. No. That is ridiculous. For what I want, and even at that, it's a bit brutal. But it would be ideal for something like that, but you see where I'm going. Just wouldn't work. Well, we can forego the my weapons, I suppose, if we have to. Or make a little spot here for them. But, yeah, that's a lot of work. Just leave that there for a moment. I'll take the sword anyway. I can move it to a different spot if I have to, but I don't know, maybe with a little bit of work we might get this in. You know, go across with another piece and man, that stupid thing would take a bit of work, wouldn't it? It would definitely is we don't really have the pieces. Okay. That's the way it would be, it would work. It's just glitching around the edges, you know. I tend to stay away from multiplayer games, me too. Yeah, they can, totally, Igma. Oh, hi PM. What are you up to? How have you been keeping? Oh, keeping fine, thanks, and I hope you're you're keeping well also. Um, we're still on this um, kind of Mayan pyramid build. Have you seen this one, PM? But we're, we haven't got much to do. We're about 
97, 98% done, I'd say. I'm just trying to work out a little problem with this display. And I think I'll save it here for a moment. But I'll give you a little tour if you want. We're just doing the last of it, you know, the bedrooms. Mm. Prime Minister Productions, it is unique. And I'll show you what we've been doing. I'll jump off the roof here, I suppose. I'm not sure how much of this you've seen PM. But it's a biggie. So, we're going for a kind of a uh, step pyramid type build. Uh, I've done all the lighting, I've basically finished it except a few parts, that's uh, a few pieces that I want in a certain way and it's proving to be a little difficult. Oh, we might still have to fit some um, doorways as well. I did forget that. I've already got one in. And I think I'll need one in there as well, but well, one in every one, I think. So we can get out onto the balconies. What mod do you get? That's in Snappy House Kit. This is only really meant for balcony pieces and roof pieces. Um, you'll see a few of these pieces in the original game, let's say, around Hangman Sally. You'll see them in, um, you know, central Boston area as well, but just little bits here and there. But are usually meant for roof pieces and balcony areas. But I've actually made a building from them. We're not really meant to be used this way. So that's what it's like on the outside, and I've done my little settlement sign as well. But Snappy House get Xbox. Well, we call this one El Dorado, which I thought was kind of apt. So that's the outside. And of course, inside. So, we've got this little thing here. We've got two large gardens each side, the beds I'll be getting rid of later. Just gotta make sure everything is done. How many hours in? I'd say about 120. It's not bad for this kind of build. Uh, four days, 15 hours, so. Four days. That's a hundred. That's ninety-six. Hundred one. Hundred eleven hours. Fifteen minutes. Not bad. It would probably take. By the time I get my settlers in, if things go wrong, it'd be one thirty, one twenty, one thirty, one one twenty-five, one thirty, depending on how much trouble I have or if I dream up something else. But not bad. You know, um, Croup Manor, which is tiny, and that took 98. Uh, 64 on home plate. 49 on, that was my quickest one on um, Sunshine Tidings. 240 on uh, Spectacle Island, and a massive 260 on... Um, County crossing, but that was complicated. That was complicated. The 
so one large garden here. This little thingy here. And basically a duplicate garden on the other side. Now, there's a moat that goes all the way around this central area. And it, so it goes out that way. It feeds the ponds out here in the back garden. Right about there. And of course we've got tons of these. Two large ones here, a tree on each. And of course our shrine. Mm. Hopefully one day I hope to achieve the... Ah, it's just a bit of practice and a bit of patience. Just practice and patience, PM. This has got to be one of your best. It's pretty unique, all right. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Um, I was on the fence whether to use this stuff, if it could be done, because it's not really meant for this. But with a little patience and persistence, you, know, you can find ways around it. Here we have our shrine. And this is, and I hope I'm not jinxing it, a surprisingly stable settlement to work on. So that's our, our worship shrine. And basically the same on, on this end. Now inside. Uh, just that going all around. Inside we have our sacrificial chamber. So I'll be putting, you know, one of the one of the daggers from the game, I suppose. You know that one you've got to do that swimming for. In that scary place, we'll probably use that. So that's our sacrificial chamber and our altar. This just goes all the way around like so. And it leads out to a large balcony area. There's one of these on every floor. Well, on this one at least. That's the other one. And as we go up here, I'll be putting doors on this later. So we're working on this. Yeah. And this will be the bedrooms once finished. Now here's your staircase. All of this is done from here. Well, this was nasty. A lot of glitching involved in this guy. And of course, we've got to have a throne. So this is our throne. And we've got a double staircase here leading up here. Kind of a little offering area. On this balcony. And of course another double staircase. And we have another little garden area here. This is basically the top. And 
And here we've railed this off as so well. We've added a crows here. I might put a few in the back garden under the trees as well. Whenever I can remember it, that is. And that's our settlement. And this is as high as it goes. And that's everything we've done so far. PM on this. But once I get that room finished that I'm in, that should be it. There's just some things, some nice things on it. Well, reasonably decent stuff. But it's going to take a bit of figuring out. Number one is the sword. I really don't think there's anything we can do here. But I would say we just put one up. And we put it across here. Which I think is kind of doable. And no weapons here, because this is, this is mega big, you know. There's no way it could be added there. So, I have kind of half a plan on this. involves this piece as our kind of base but you can see it's all over the place I would need some kind of plate um, I probably could go with a marble to be honest I could take this out we could add a marble and then the pieces on the side but I don't want to push it. Um, right, let's bring this here. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, one of these will do. I needed some kind of team at the other end. I've got a doorway, so the sword would be good, I suppose. Can't go with guns or anything here, so. How do we hide something like this? Is that even straight? something to box it would but it's, it can't come through too much on the other side um, we'll give it a shot This is 
going to be a complicated little guy because it depends on what way the sword goes on that piece. And I've never been really accurate with something like that. I change the settings in this in a moment. My god, it's warm in here. Let me open a window. It's ridiculously warm. <clears throat> okay. Let me do something with these drapes. Let's let some air in here. See, that's silly. Oh. I want to get one of these and we could glitch it properly, but it's, it's going to snap all over the place. So is there anything else we could use? plans but we'll see snap is the thing. Okay, and this is potential. Let's see where we can go with this. Yeah, we'll actually add this one. And then we add the other one. Something like this we probably need. We'll set this one and then the other one. And I'll try and you know, that's it, you know, put it like that, but I would really love to kind of glitch it a little bit more. I will probably pull this guy out to meet it. Once we get a good... Uh, Once we get a good measurement on this, that one is kind of not bad. That there is probably what we need. Now, I'll cannibalize this for a moment. Yeah, not good. Um. Well, that can I push that? Let's see, maybe. Uh, not a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, I could probably see that work. Well, luckily we're only doing one of these. Now, let's see. Yeah, it's still not making it, see that? That I could live with. Now, that won't be exactly what we need. I don't think we can see it from the other side, so yeah, it's pretty safe. good. Now, this is a little bit more tricky. Hmm. Any news on Fallout 5? Um, I haven't been, you know, really doing much looking. Uh, the only thing, you know, that I can say is I did see an interview, oh, it was about probably five, six months ago, I think, maybe more, Todd Howard said there'll be first doing Starfield, fixing up another couple of projects, and then he said they will eventually go and get around to doing another Fallout. And um, Skyrim, he did say they'd be single player type stuff, but, you know, I believe that one when I see it. Um, but from how he was talking, uh, it would be extremely lucky see one in another five six years i would say to be honest uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they are ever going to do it because it looks like they're never going to do it um it wouldn't surprise me if it took another decade mm. if there is i'm just hoping he doesn't do that you know fallout 76 kind of thing again or that skyrim online kind of t uh, kind of thing it's really not my stuff you know I've been waiting a long time for you know a decent follow up to Skyrim it's such a pity and it's not like you know that the game both games did, did bad they did quite well I can understand why they don't want to be stuck doing the same thing but like you know they could have been doing other things on a side project you know and I'm sure there's lots of team members there that would like you know, to continue with that. Now, I could do something like that. But what I want to do... Okay, what are you? Yeah, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Um, hmm. oh, it doesn't matter. I have other ways of fixing that, I suppose. I'm trying to drive this guy right through, but... It's probably less than two. Oh, we gotta cover this guy. I think 
I might have a plan. I might have a plan. This is just a one-off piece. So once we figure it out, we should be kind of okay, I'd say. And we can stop that from snapping. There we go. Ah, come on. There you go. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. Let me push that back a little more. Hmm. It might be impossible to... This would be a one-shot deal. I really hate this one. See what I mean? Um, I can use this, I suppose. Oh, we're taking a bit of a chance here, but... Big chance. Let's see. No. See what I mean? That was horrible, wasn't it? That was horrible. Okay. Okay, I did give it a try. I'll try another little... See, this will have to be perfect. I mean, absolutely perfect. Okay, just a bit more. That's kind of the way I'm going with it. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a problem, isn't it? And we'd want to be we'd want to be perfectly accurate with something like this. Let me see. We'll remove the back one in a moment, but that will probably work. Well, let's see what we get away with that. No. Absolutely not. No, it's tethered. It's tethered now, so that's a waste of stupid time. Um, that was a mistake. I want to tether it to this. There. Oh, I did it again. How stupid. You see, when I move the other one, it's... I need to use the place I need where a mod to kick in. Keep it tethered to that other edge. And I need to do it that way. See what I mean? Now we have half a chance of getting this. Ah, it's a pity. But I could put this in and then re add the ones at the side. It might work. You know, just this. Instead, ah, come on. Okay, it's not the worst. That would probably work. Oh, let's see. There. Now all we've got to do is hope we get that sword on this. That's as neat as it's going to get, as flush as it's going to get. There we go, guys. Oh, that's not bad. A lot of work to get that in. We got it. Okay, let's do the repair here. Hopefully when we scrap this, 
It won't disappear. Once this is done, I'll try and pull it out a bit more. Maybe even cover it and just leave the sword. Instead of that, I really hate that. Here, let's save it. Took too long to get that in. Let's see if it's possible. We just leave the sword. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. That's not bad. Hmm. That might work. A lot of work to get that in. I think we have it. I'll do some further decoration on it later, but that would work. Oh, hi, Blonde. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, Raiders. How have you been? Yeah, I think it works, guys. There. Yeah, okay. I have some museum pieces that might work. Oh, hi, Jill. Hi, how are you? How have you been keeping? Well, I hope. Here we are, <laughs> and welcome. We're on the last of it, Jill. It's been a bit of a grind, but I'll save this here. You've seen that torture I went through to just get the sword up of hidden the, the holder behind. I'll show you what we've done. So, I'm gonna be going with, let's say in those two spaces, um, this kind of look, you know, the two different Amazonian outfits. Same over the other side. We're going with these. I'm not sure whether to fill them with water or flowers or, you know, fill them in. But I think I'll add some of the museum pieces on that. I'm doing pretty good. Ah, oh, that's good to hear. Oh, fine. Fine, thanks, Joe. So yeah, like that on each side and then I'll fill these in. We still have to decorate the bedrooms, but they're pretty straightforward. Now, we've finished here. We've made minor alterations. Well, it's taken a bit of time. And this is what we've done here because it was, you know, kind of an unusual area. On 
this one. I don't want to overdo it. And the usual up here. It's taken a long time to do it. Oh, hi, Lantern. Thank the God, clock is on. I need some relaxings. Hi, Lantern. How have you been? I hope you've been well. Mm. Throne too. Yeah, oh, we, we need a throne. <laughs> we need that. So, we're pretty much finished here, Joe. You know, except for this area down here. And we've... We have a team. I think we know what we want now. We just gotta implement it. Hmm. Yeah, some plants as well. There's a few things I can do. I'd say along here. Just gotta try a few different things. Oh, I'm fine, thanks, Blonde. I hope you're well, also. Yeah, a bit different. This is the... How much of this have you seen, Yako? You know what my memory is like. Let's repair this, guys. Now let me grab some soda while this is happening. Where is my soda? <laughs> I think it's time for a new one. My god, I'm going through soda like... Oh my... Yeah, it's stuck too much. There. I've seen most of it. But oh, but not the detailing. Um, I finished all the gardens below. Oh, been a few weeks, so I've probably gotten a lot done. I'll show you what we've done. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, just get these little bits in. I won't be a second, and then. Still needs a good bit of detailing. Not that much. And I'll sleep and then I'll show you. So I'll jump off the top and get a better view from there. So, um, you remember this was one large opening, I decided to break it into two, you know, adding this and this little centerpiece. I think you've seen the outside, or maybe you've just seen the building going up, I forget how long I've been on this. It's obviously taking twice as long because I'm only doing it every second day. want to be sacrificed. <laughs> oh, I have had days I felt like that myself. <laughs> I 
and of course we call it El Dorado. So that's the outside. Ah, uh, we've finished everything down here, so it's about as detailed as it's ever going to be. Oh, I need, key, oh, I need to scrap those things. We went for that mode going around, you know, the center building. Well, the other side is the same, but this is a little different. Reason being, we needed this to go that away. So it looks like it's feeding the other pools in the back garden out here. So basically the same here. Not much of a change here. We added the, the railings here on that. I think I did a few little touches here and there. You know, like this. And of course our shrine. That's basically the back garden. Hmm. Suddenly can't. <laughs> so that's it down here. We have finished that sacrifice chamber eventually. might have to do something little on the walkways later. I'm on the fence about that, but we definitely need some kind of um, doorway, I'd say. Although the NPCs might take some time you know, to get in, I'd move in there would only cause a bidding to survive <laughs> hurricanes. And then this leads up to the area we were working on. This will be our bedrooms for let's see on each end little armor section between each haven't fully worked out what I want to do, but I have a few plans for here. Basically the same on this side, just need to finish them. Here. Well, yeah, there's no doorway right here, so we're going with that sword and a few decorations and stuff here. I have a few plans for that as well. The stairway is done, eventually. That was probably one of the hardest things to do. Once we solve one problem, we created two. And of course, the throne as well. kind of offering area here probably the best use for that space Crocs throne <laughs> and garden area here And of course we railed this and added a crow on each section. And that's it, lantern. 
That's everything we've done so far. And just working on the bedrooms and a few more decorations inside. Then we'll bring in our NPCs. But I think we're 115 hours on it. It's not bad. Like, remember Coop Manor, that took 98. So we're only 17 hours more than that. There's not much more to do. This is it's pretty big. Oh my, really? Oh, six and a half hours, that's quite good. I forget what I was, I was about in the same six and a half, seven and a half. But I'm paying for it now. Now. Water's out of the question, and no flowers are out of the question. Um... I don't know about uh, maybe flowers. Well, let's see. Hmm. I made it for yeah most of it. <laughs> my grandson finished my upgrades today. Cool. So you got it all worked out. You got a lot. No. I've been trapped with work, and I missed all of you. Oh. That was nice of you to say. We've missed you too. Yeah, come. But yeah, work needs to be done. Now, I could fill this in and do a platform, but let's say if we're going with flowers, um, I'm not sure if we'd see enough of them. And if I was going with flowers here, would I go probably red or white? It wouldn't take a lot. Watch me wander around aimlessly. <laughs> uh, where is it? USO. We could try some different plants, guys. Um, those ugly carrot flowers. But to be honest, you know, maybe if the base is hidden, they might not be too bad. The floor looks like some secret tech. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I beat a dragon with my sword at the end. It's annoying me. <laughs> There's this stuff here. Now, uh, one second. I'm not really on board with these guys, but I definitely want to look see. The setting of them as well would be kind of difficult, I suppose. <laughs> nice. You keeping me company while I unpack some boxes. Nice. Now that I'm not exactly. You know, it, it's it's probably not bad. And I can fill it in the center. Yeah, you could go with something like that. But I'm not really on board with something like that. Or, um, you could do something like this. That's not bad, Joe. That's actually not bad. 
If I could get a little dirt section to go on top, I think that would work. The carrot flowers. They're not too bad once you get rid of the base, you know what I mean? But we'd have to drop them, so... We didn't see so much of that junk. You know, something like that. Yeah, it'd be a process to be honest, but the car flowers are a good fit. And the colouring is perfect and once we get rid of the ugly base we just see if it's coming true. And we could finish those at least. Here, I'll show you what I wanna go with there. I'll have to reload because that was done sideways. Um as I'm going there Let's say I'll probably use these. Hmm. It was one of those puzzles. It answered three questions with items in the rooms. And the last one had me frustrated. The silver ingot. <laughs> or steel. <laughs> now, um, I'm thinking. Go in for the museum pieces. And we go with one of these here, one there. And we have a choice of this. Probably. Or this. Oh, that's kind of weird looking, to be honest. What else have we got here? Ooh. Yeah. That, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Something like that for here would probably work. And I'll put a light on that guy. One of those invisible thingies. Where are they? Oh, that's cool. Green. Oh, I'd have something like that. So we go with something like that. And the card flowers. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the ingot. I got the first two with no problem. Ah. That's for the ancient alien guy. <laughs> oh, hi, suburban werewolf. How are you? Oh, great, great, thanks. Hope you're doing well also. I hope you had a good day. We're kind of clo closing in on the end of this, although even when you're close to the end, you know, it can take some time. So I think I'm going to go that way. It took quite some time to get that sword there. We had to hide the piece behind. So we'll be going with the car flowers here. That's providing they're not pushing through. And we'll be filling these. We tried some different things. Um, bedrooms will be probably next. And here, we will be going with something like this. I think it would work. Might go with the green lighting as well. Car flowers, car flowers again. And we're concentrating this main area and get it done. 
we finish the stairs and the throne. And here we eventually finish this. It's the best we could do, I think. Yeah, and it's taken a while to get it. Crashed once in five hours. <laughs> So that's as far as we've gotten off. But we're definitely thinking this look. And I'll fix those properly in a moment with this kind of look. Now, I might be able to lich the, the lambs on each side, we'll see. I've got to see if those are actually coming down through the roof and then we can carry on. But basically on this side. No. We're looking good. Okay, we'll go with that look. Let's have a crack at this. Now, I think we have a little bit of time, don't we? 6.25, okay. Couple of minutes. The best way to get our level be, I'd say, to remove this. And we'll push them directly on the ground, we should get perfect height from this. Oh, itchy here. Now... <laughs> Okay. I should be quick, I said finishing this well. Relatively quick. By my standards. Once we've kind of decided what we want. Oh, I see. They're a bit low, aren't they? Okay. That's not going to be a thing. We'll have to do it the other way. Fair enough. That's horrible. You see that kind of look. But if we push it down... We should be able to get away with this, probably. When we get into trouble, we can remove the side piece, I suppose. Clock you on. Yes, on the Xbox. Uh, yeah, cool. I'm on Xbox. I actually had uh, Amazonian outfits um, turned off. Uh, what does it call it? uninstalled. When we put it back in, now we have 1.94 gigabytes. We just barely made it. Oh, hi, Oinks. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it, and welcome, Raiders. How have you been? Well, I hope. You will have to 
to learn the keyboard. Uh, we're just on the, the last of this. It's still going to take a bit of time, but... I think we're gonna to see it's the pieces. I don't want them to be showing up that much, but what can we do? I actually don't want any of it to be showing. Ah. Hmm. Might not be that good to use guys. That's a pity. I don't think anyone will notice. We'll give it a try anyway. I might put one in here. And then one here, and then two in the center. And then we'll take it from there. So probably five for each. Center this one. And this one. Using that flower. And I'm hoping we don't mess it up too bad. So, and that would roughly be the look, guys. center one. Unbelievable. take time these, don't they? There, that will be one of them. And then we get the other guys in, I suppose. And thanks for that, Shadow Blunt. I mean, for me, I grew up on a controller, so even now I prefer it over keyboard. Unless it's an FPS game. Or building, yeah. I sat too long in front of an open door with a fan on my legs, <laughs> like blocks of ice, <laughs> but relaxing on Skyrim or something. Hmm. I want to be in bed. I play with a controller 
I could never get used to a keyboard. Me too. I don't think I could. I don't think I could. So, what have you been up to, Owings? There. That's the way we'd probably be going with that guy. It seems to be gone in scout ways, doesn't it? Especially that back one. Needs to come down and all of them need to come over a little bit. Not as simple as I thought. And there you go. Where are my cigarettes? Okay. Yeah, you can. I've seen my kids do it. You can use a controller on PC. Yeah. Stupid center ones. I actually should be doing a better job on this. Because now I can't touch the center ones. See these ones here? Ah, the next one will get in will be much faster. Just a bit of a learning process on this. That's not bad. Okay, now maybe we might need a tiny. You see like that? There. Not bad, not bad. Something like that. There, that would do. That's it, guys. I'm really ticked off with these here, let's see. You can see the little stumps on them. Unbelievably brutal. You can... A better good one. Yeah, that zones are way off. I started to stream treasure hunting. I got sidetracked. I always do on a quest. Especially with all the spamming creation club stuff. My Walmart special seems to do the trick. And her stops last one was, ah, six months. Last one lasted three weeks, but I, I took it back to Walmart. That's the problem here when I do this, it goes out from the side. See what I mean? Look at that one there. These two actually. God, these are gonna take ages. You 
See, I've got to remove every stupid piece to get a flick on these stupid guys. And then I've got to adjust them from the other side. That one there needs to come up, but it's too late now. I didn't expect these to be so nasty to fit. To be honest. There. Now. Yeah, just a bit on that one. What a bit of all of them, they stupid. There. I can't catch them individually. I haven't a clue how I'm going to work this. See, I have to move on to fix the other, then I've got to guess them in. I was like making five correct guesses all at once. Mm. I suppose the only thing I could do then is I can't really drop them too far. Yeah, you gotta love that. Yeah, I can't touch it. Oh, for God's sake. I might sack these flowers and go with my original one because I can't see me doing four of these like this. Uh, it's just too mind-numbingly tedious. See what I mean? I just four of these to do. And when we push this back in, we'll probably find it's too high. Or at least one of them, and then you've got to remove the whole lot to... There. That's pretty decent. Okay. And there you go. you got a piece here. That seems to be too high. Still a little high. Still high. <laughs> Center one is not looking too good either. The problem with this is as you do that, you go off on the side. Yeah, you see that? There, let's try that. I think we just put them in in the future one by one. Oh, 
That would do. Stupidly mind-numbingly tedious. There it is. Okay. I need a better system next time. Taking too long. Mm. Sign hop. Sky mountain scaling was really handy today. <laughs> and such a mouse to keep in control of the computers with me. Mm. Same type for years. Clock. We all see they are semi rare. The flowers can be <laughs> natural. <laughs> Yeah, but it's the way they were glitching through the um, uh, the piece I put in. No, impossible physics to see. You know, a leaf of a flower growing through something that's solid. <laughs> As I was passing a mine, they stopped me and wanted help killing a dagger. Oh. And I did the Iron Bird Barrel quest. Yeah, and the guy turns on you. On the end, he wanted you for a sacrifice or something. Yeah, if you're quick, you can I'll take him out pretty quickly. Was he an Argo? He was an Argonian. He was. Yeah. I think he was an Argonian. Hmm. Yeah, another one. It's near that inn, Nightingale Inn. Another one. And there's that one again. Scrolls for Nazca. I think it was. And that one where you get to nighting or the, the ghost blade thingy. And the bandits arguing outside. There's quite a few quests actually like that. There. That's what we want. See, that's what I'm saying. Something looks simple. And you just get caught up with it. You never know how long it's going to take. Haven't seen you since Solham. <laughs> Just going to discover and realize which one it was. Yeah, so you did it. Yeah, um, what I do is I pretty easily get killed. I try and run in front of them as quickly as I can. No looting, just killing everyone. And then, let's say, after the quest is over, I loop my way back. Mm. No, you're mudding already. <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. My right leg has been killing me today. I think it might be the change of weather. Now. Well, these ones should be easy enough. You, know, you just get the, the flowers done. The problem is, if you mess up the center ones, you know what I mean? There's no way of, of getting them right. this time and that way center one I maybe could use that flower 
Also keine Marker, right? See? Yeah, the flower is a pretty good marker. There, just the two center ones. Might work that way. I slow down. <laughs> and thanks for the horse, Mert. I appreciate it. Hope you've been well. We're trying to do the finishing touches, but not as easy as I hoped. Not if we want to get these accurate. Oh, wrong way around. See what I mean? Now you see I have no way of getting it out without moving the center ones. That's exactly what has been killing me. Um, actually, I might have a fix. Let's say... We centered a large one on these pieces here. And it might be a bit cluttered. But it would be way easier to fix. And to be honest, I, I don't think that would work because... We just suffer the same problems. How do we get that center one? There it is. That one was actually the wrong way around. Oh my. Yeah, we're kind of suffering a bit on this, to be honest. of a saint for this guy. chance but it's just an exact fit mm. each one of those would have to be moved into place like that one that one the only one that's giving us any real trouble is is that one let me see yeah just a turn on that It's not bad. 
Okay. Ah, just the last one. Nasty little thing, isn't it? There. It's not bad. And luckily there's not a lot of those to do. Hmm. Was modding for me today. Oh, cool. Let me see if I missed any messages. Hmm. I'm going to miss him. He's leaving. Oh, tomorrow. Ah. Oh. Clear water. Oh. Very soon, but I'll be further north. I'm really sick of these Michigan winters. Florida is nice. Yeah, off the Panhandle. I'll be south of Panhandle near Crystal River. South of. Uh, <laughs> there. Well, to be honest, the last one could do it a, a little drop, couldn't it? And then we're good. I do the guys in the middle, and there's just two to do the other side, and that entire section is finished. <coughs> That's good. Alright. Now these guys. Um let me see. Let's do this. Okay. Two years, but that was a mistake. Hmm. I've lived there before, I should have never left. Family talked me into coming back here. Ah. Alright.
Gulf side, yeah, less hurricanes. Crocker gold, by the way, my youngest. Oh, it's back in Michigan. Oh, cool. Oh, that must be nice for you, blonde. Cats are earned enough to keep me warm. <laughs> so I'm not staying here. You need more cats. Currently getting after ah uh, yeah the hurricane Ian. now uh, I was thinking this here I'll try and make it a little fancier in one moment. Like that. I wonder is there anything we could let me just get the light for it and then I'll see. Something like that. Uh, I don't want them on those as well. Too much. Too much. Much too much. Is there any way I can back that with something? There's only one thing I know that might have a chance. Possible. It's possible. Here, I can use these guys, and we'll we'll have a look. Ah, they'd have to be on the ground. I don't think it's worth the hassle. We need something much bigger. What could I use for that one? Seventy days, forty nights. Ah, too old for the cold. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I could do something with that later, but uh, yeah, I'll do it later. Uh, there's some animal heads somewhere, isn't there? Let's have a look at those. Uh, yeah. They're in here somewhere. There they are. Blood fly. Brahmin. What's that? Mounted cats. Not putting a cat head on this. Claw too big. Dog, 
No. Fargo. There he is. Me mounted wood clawed skull. That's the guy I want. Okay, I need two skulls. I've been under two blankets since I stopped my stream and my feet and legs are still frozen. I'm like that a lot as well. I think it's my my blood pressure might be a bit low. Okay, two scores. I'm looking for two scores. That should do it. It's the only heater you need. They do generate a lot of heat, don't they? Yeah, I do. All winter. Non-stop. thing on this. And I can use these as a kind of measurement. I want a shoulder plaque as well, so Uh, do we need the shoulder plaque? That would work. That would be the last of it, I'd say. Why does it look higher than the other one? Is it some kind of optical illusion or it is higher? There. 
There we go. Yep. I don't know that one. Well, that doesn't seem to be centered anymore, but it's just a tiny touch. Yeah, that's good one. <laughs> So, this side is finished. That's all we can do with that. Hmm. So, just flowers on the other side. And we can leave it. Or we can look at the bedrooms and do the flowers later. We've done... I think we've done the armor stand there. We have... I could light it up a little after, I suppose. The bedrooms, I think just for the bedrooms I'll cover this with glass. I think we get away with glass in here. Let's see what we have in the glass. Just for the bedrooms. But I have a mod that makes a grid appear when you grab things to adjust properly. Really? Cool. Oh. Let's see what we've got in glass. Can't play Fallout 4. I need a game until I finish Skyrim. Totally. So I can move my GST drive to make it my. Oh, your main one. Okay, some kind of glass. Oh, yeah, we're going with the cloudy ones, but it won't be something like that. It will be probably that. Oh, I don't know, glass is a bit nasty. You know, if it hasn't got the edges. And that's not too bad, I like that, but the Institute is really killing it. I would have to use these. I would have to center one and then the two the other side. That's the way I'd work that. Yeah, that would be the only way to work that. Okay, let's fix the weather. to sleep freely anyway. I found one. I found out a drive I've been using. Oh, it's HDD. Then it will speed up some. 
the HDD, I think they use on security cameras and stuff as well. I'm not sure. I used to pick up some for, let's say, security cameras. I think that was it. Seagate would do them. Hmm. I have uh, an STD ready for when your HDD fellows. Oh. So it lasts for just a bedroom alone. Or it's going to be too open. Right. Go with the kind of dirty glass so at least might be noticeable. Yeah, STD is better for gaming. Need some bolted ones, but haven't transferred. Oh, just one moment. I want to just check something on this. want to check something guys I won't be a moment yeah that's okay now These are easy to um, to measure. suppose Ah, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Um, okay, I think I know what I want to do this. There's half ones here. Let's see if I can find them. I'll just make four of these. Yeah, 
These will work. Yep. Oh. Oh, I forgot about this. You idiot. I totally forgot about this one. Is it possible to hide this? Apparently. Like that. And not see this one, let's say, from the other edge. This is going to be interesting. I think it works. I, I get it in and I see is it showing from the other side, but it is just enough room. Hmm. Now, just a few pieces. I've done this so much. It's almost second nature now. It's not that hard. I used, let's say, that red line to, you know, like you were saying, you were using a grid. You can use this the same way. And you can get it pretty accurate. You see, and you just pull that and you push, well, like that. And that's uh, kind of simple. Like that, and there you go. Pretty quick. It's the far side of the fence, but what can you do? We needed to cover with this. What I do need to do is I need to go out. And I need to see if it's showing through on the other side before I invest. Any more time on it? Ah, it's not bad. That one is not great. What I'll do is I'll pull it down. So it will hide the... You know, it'll hide the edge. This will work. And there is just enough room, I'd say. Just enough room. We can't have our settlers catching cold, Yako. There we go, guys. That uh, will work. We've got our windows in. I definitely needed, you know, that piece with the bars because oh, you know, if we didn't get that in. We were in trouble. You get that ugly kind of. You know, peace. Now, having said that, guys, I'm not happy with it. I'll have to set these in the future from the outside here. I was doing it from that piece on the inside, but that's way off. Way, way, way off. Let me adjust this. See what I'm saying here?
It should have been in roughly. About there, I'd say. I'll fit these for you. We fit them for you. There. And that one needs to be moved back. So there. There it is. I just make sure anymore I fit them from the outside. And line them up with this. You know, instead of lining them from the inside. Yeah. That's kind of okay. I'm still not happy with it. Yeah, it's never going to be a hundred percent. There, that would do. Yep, the rush should go quickly. Hmm. True. Yeah, clock. Yeah. Boston gets a bit chilly. I mean, that's what I meant for me. I would have to match. Yeah, <laughs> with the X. <eggs. laughs> yeah. But that's my OCD. Yeah. That's as close as it's going to be on that one there. And almost. That's kind of close. But in future we have to line them from here. It is a bit of torture, isn't it? Okay. Nothing is ever as easy as it looks. So that's one. Let's start. I'll push these three out. We'll line them from the outside. And that would be the way to do it. And then come back in and add the windows from the other side. Oh, good morning. The bit looks fine, yeah. Good morning, Des. How have you been? I hope you've been well. We've got a good bit done, but I decided to, um, you know, to add these here. Just for the bedrooms. Can't have them catching cold. Oh, hi Broadside. How are you? Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. And welcome Raiders. We're doing the last few bits Broadside. i just get these through and i show you what we've been doing. But we've realised that fitting these from the outside it is a much better option if we, you know, to get them lined up properly. And I'll save this, and I'll I'll show you what we've done. Yeah, okay. Right, let's save this. I'll save it here. So, what have you been up to, broadside? What have you been playing tonight? Exactly as I predicted, you're building something big and incredible. <laughs> We're much better raiders than you usually get playing Fallout games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, uh, where's that bed? Here, somewhere. My goodness. There it is. It's best we see this one at night. But I've finished the throne and most of the stuff on the way up. Grim Dawn tonight. Not familiar with that one. 
try to play something different uh, once a week. What I tend to be doing is day on, day off kind of thing on two games, but always on this, on every second day. And then, let's say we started with Skyrim with a legendary one, we finished that, you know, day on, day off on this and that. Then we went to Valhalla, that was fun. Then we finished that, then we did a new Vegas playthrough. Finished that. Now we're back on Skyrim, but we're doing a legendary survival with, you know, certain weapons and and armor. But totally after that I'll do Witcher 3. Haven't actually streamed that one. I played it twice. I played it on hard and then Nightmare, let's say, for the last achievement. We're going for the last achievement, let's say, the Night War 1. Uh, I'd, remen I'd recommend you would do it on New Game Plus. That one is brutal. <sighs> and once I get tired, I start to mumble a bit. There the windows were just fitting in, but I'll only be doing the bedrooms. So, that's what we've got outside. I'll quickly, quickly run around, and then I'll show you the inside. And thanks for the shout-outs, Blonde. Appreciate it. So we've been, I think, around 110 or 112 on this one, which is not bad. If I was to guess, I would have seen more like 140, 150. So, out from a few little problems we had, we, we made pretty good time. This is our settlement sign. We call this one El Dorado. But it's a biggie. So, double entrance and a bit of a tree here. And this kind of feature. I've still got to scrap these guys. Decided not to use them. Large ponds here, some trees, and uh, these kind of features. And the central area, let's say, we'll have this large moat. Goes all the way around. Uh, the other side, it's you know just a, a replica of this. The beds I'll be scrapping later, and I'll be bringing in about 20 settlers here, but definitely at the end when everything is done. I don't want those guys in the way. So that's the downstairs gardens. Um, this moat, it basically flows this way. And it feel, feeds the, the pools on the outside garden here here we have our shrine two larger pools just a, a tree in each It nearly always needs a tree to kind of close down the area. Raiders be raiding El Dorado, city of gold. <laughs> uh, some smaller gardens here. Smaller pools. Basically the same. Very symmetrical. Now, that's that part. And now, 
here is our sacrificial chamber. We're probably adding a knife here or something later. We're at the stage now we're doing all the hard kind of grindy bits. These lead out to a large walkway that goes all the way around on each side. And a lot of the area has been taken up here, let's say by this stairway. This leads up to our kind of armory bedrooms kind of thing. So I still have to finish this end. The other side will look something similar. Bedrooms here, here, and basically the same kind of symmetry. You know, bedrooms, armor, bedrooms. This, well, the other side obviously is the doorway, so this is it's just one place. So we decided, you know, to do this kind of thing. And I've kind of glitched this over the existing rack that was there. And we've made this kind of thing. Yeah, just something to to fill up the area. I'll be doing those flowers later on the other side, but no trouble lining them up. But they can be done. From here up, it's actually finished. So, just what you see here should do it. So, we've got this here. We've got our drone. And this just drops down this side here. And then our double staircase here, each side of the throne and a kind of well, offering area, I suppose. And we have a small garden up here. Just poured my 14 drink. If I get a little goofy, that's normal. No problem. <laughs> Weekend. Let loose the dogs of war. And cry havoc. <laughs> and this is the best we could do here. Kind of little garden. I've also capped it, let's say, with these railings, but that kind of crow thing again, going all the way around. I'll be adding some other trees down in the outside garden probably later. And that's it. Um, yeah, a broadside. That's everything we've done on this one. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I do, Yakko. This top is where I'll be enjoying the hurricane. <laughs> Sounds like a... like the Moby Dick novel. And that's it. That's everything we've done. As always, you put me to shame, sir. <laughs> oh, I thank you, Broadside. Yeah, we've been on this a while, but this one has been fun. The pieces are not really meant for this. They're just balcony pieces, but with a little bit of patience. You know. But it's surprisingly stable, isn't it, Broadside? You know, for this settlement, I thought, it's taken... A reasonable amount of abuse. And to me what's impressive and I've always liked building here because of it. Like usually when you get out a good bit from a settlement, you know, you'll get that rendering, you know what I mean? 
not so here. Hmm. I usually build a base here with an artillery piece pointed right at the Britain. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. No better have steel and get up with it. <laughs> it's the area, yeah. Uh, I didn't expect it because you've got, you know, very close to Boston Airport. So you would have a cell there, but it wouldn't be very big. But you'd be surprised how far, let's say, the cell would stretch out. A good bit more than your build area. Usually when you get settlements this close together, and then you've got a lot of kind of, you know, movement here and here. You've got that place down there, and of course the Brotherhood. But, like, Starlight Drive-In, you know, once you get to the high bridge and look down, you'll see rendering on a big building. But here, pretty decent. Now you can go back a long way. You'll see a little bit of flickering around the doorway there, but that's that's not the cell, that's the piece I used. When they made the piece, let's say, when they were putting the guild on it, they obviously pushed two pieces together. When you push them too close together, even though up close it looks like it's perfect, when you stand back, and that's when you've got two pieces almost occupying the same space. It happens a lot with wallpaper. The way to do that would be, let's say, an update with a mod and just give it a tiny bit more. You know, push it out just a tiny fraction. So zero rendering. An impressive um, settlement. You won't find too many like that. This must be one of the cells that they actually built correctly. <laughs> yeah, blow it out of the sky. Yeah, not much to render there. You'd be surprised, you know. There's a good few pieces gone into that one. They're my guests, they might come over. Yeah, they behave, or else they're going to find out. <laughs> But I've always liked the stability of that cell. I was thinking about something here originally, like a kind of beachfront kind of apartment more with a white SOE, doing some neon and stuff like a kind of kind of eighties kind of. Um, drug barn kind of house. It would have been a nice place. Like something from GTA. Don't know if I could have managed it, but the SOE would have been you know, probably my best bet. Next time I come here I might do something like that. So that's everything um, Broadside have done on this. So I've just got some kind of nitty gritty repetitive stuff to do to finish it. Hmm. Oh, hi Jumpy. Good night everyone. Enjoyed the stream as always. Hope you all have a good night. Uh, you're better at the hurricane. I hope you all stay. Yeah, totally. And thanks for stopping by and hanging on Jumpy. I appreciate it. I hope you get a good rest and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe Jumpy. Bye. When you come up the elevator and see Rudder through, yeah, the best part of all of all. Glad. Oh, well, thank you, Broadside. Nightly nights, likewise, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no problem. My pleasure, Broadside. Now, one of the things I do when I do this, when I move outside the build area, I would always reload. I've noticed as well with these Series X controllers, they're absolute rubbish. And they seem to have like a, um, a rubberized heavy duty skin that goes around. I thought it was all in the one piece, but it's not. It's actually been glued. And now it's starting to come apart like, like it was bought in a dollar store. 
really. Every year that goes by, every new controller Microsoft makes, just going downhill. The old 360 ones were the best. I've just got some things to see before I try and get some sleep. I'll leave you alone as long as I can. Thank you for the shout out. No problem. And thanks for stopping by and raiding Broadside. I appreciate it. Hope you get a good rest and I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Take care and stay safe. Bye. Have a great stream all look and thanks for the look both side. Now, um what were we doing? Oh yeah, we're doing the windows. Um yeah, we'll try and get them done. I'll be on a little while longer, I'll get the hour out. And that will be me doing my two extra hours as usual. So that time will go quickly. We need to set these from the outside so we can line them up correctly. And we'll start with this one. Oh yeah, broadside there. Uh, the robot yeah, in central Boston. I remember that quest. That was a pretty decent one. I find, let's say, well, when I was playing on the other Xbox X, it was always pretty dodgy around that area. You know, doing that quest, you know, killing the guys that were attacking, not siding with them, and getting, getting that out of there, basically. Yeah, it gave a good few frame rates. I'd say 15 on that. Yeah, that's the one. But Central Boston, it's not dodgy for me anymore with the X-Series. I suppose that's one good thing I can say about it. Mm, it's 2M for me, so I'm going to call it night. And thanks for stopping by and hanging out, Blonde. I appreciate it. Hope you get a good rest. And I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Take care and stay safe, blonde. Bye. And you too. I hope you have a great day. Now, this is probably our best way. I want to line them up with these guys here soon. Just going to the edge of that. And that is maybe a bit more. I'm thinking about there. Yeah. Now. Let's see. Uh, this could be a little dodgier because you've got to move it with the controller. Now, that's on that one roughly. And Mm, close, 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 close. We just drop it out. I think that would do. Nice. Okay. That's that guy. We'll use the half pieces on the side. It's the only place I'll be putting glass, just in the bedrooms. That's just too off, you know, when you've got these. But yeah, for the bedrooms, I think I will. Good night, if you're still here.
Oh, this guy. Yeah, all the big stuff is done, so we're really stuck with this silly stuff. at least. That looks kind of off, doesn't it? much. Uh, might be a bit much. Ah, uh, that's good. That's good. I should do. Yep. Okay. Now. No, no. We got it. We got it. Oh, this is nodding compared to some of the st stuff I've glitched. You should have seen, um... Home plate, yeah. That, that was nasty. Flooring is much worse. The wall pieces are not that bad. Never the worst, really, just doing those three pieces. Now, that one is done, correct? It is. All we've got to do is make the pieces. Uh, let me see. the one, isn't it? Yeah. We'll be surprised how quick we'll have this done. Bro um, yeah, cool. Uh, it's just a few pieces, you know. You need the mirror mode mod with all the symmetry. I'm not familiar with that one. But I suppose there's one thing to be said for doing something the hard way. You get to understand it. A little better. You see here I tend to use... You 
See the red line that goes around. And you can line everything up from that red line. There you go. And there's no way that is showing on the other side. That's two. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, you get to learn a lot, you know. As I said, by doing it the hard way. I've done this kind of thing so many times. I could almost do my sleep, I'd say. Just two more, we finished them. And that will be one last thing for me to do. Yeah, you see that? Just turn it like that and then pull. There. Sometimes you try and do it and you get a twist and you can't control it. And you're going to use glitching pieces. Usually on the floors, rarely on walls. There we go. That's all our windows done. Yes. Well put. Well put, Jacko. Without the tedium and the repetitive. Oh my god, it's repetitive. Hmm. What's the old... <laughs> What's the saying again? You're not learning if it's not hurting. <laughs> or you're not learning if you're having fun. <laughs> Which has some kind of meaning, I suppose. Yeah, because apparently uh, let's say we What's the word I'm looking for? We tend to remember negative experiences a lot longer and committed to memory more readily, let's say, than positive ones. Which kind of makes sense. Yep, and that's it. So next time we're here, hopefully, I'll have a bit done as well if I can. We finished this. We've got all the windows on the bedrooms, so I'll figure out a way we're going to decorate this guy. Yeah, we're going to chock it full of beds. Um, so do the four bedrooms, and that's finished. And all of this is done. Just add some flowers on this, and fix the other armor stand that's actually for the armor stand over here and then we're pretty much good to go yes 
in retrospect, it nearly always is. In retrospect. Right, let's save this one, guys. I think we've done enough. I've been on six hours. Well, that's a pretty decent time. And my back is absolutely killing me. That's so true. I can't remember. I can remember bad things from when I was a child. Yeah, very well. It's a defense mechanism that, like, let's say you're a kid and let's say or even going back let's say when we were in the caves you know if we had a bad experience with something it it um, it learned us you know and it said not to not to do it again so those kind of memories negative ones are stored much better because it's what keeps us alive. Well, it used to anyway. You know, let's say you didn't know, know anything about, let's say, saber cats, and you had a narrow escape. Oh, I can tell you, you'd remember about them the next time. That kind of thing. It was a trait, and that you know helped us survive. Yeah, totally. Yeah, in retrospect, and that's where that comes from. So the lessons you learn, let's say, whether it is in your career or whatever you want to do, the ones that kind of pain a bit, yeah, are the ones that you'll remember more. It's using the same system, let's say. It wasn't really meant for that, but it's like, let's say, your adrenal gland on your kidney. Uh, that was really meant for, you know, you're out there, you're hunter-gathering, large bear jumps out you know that fight or f flight thing you know it gives you a kind of turbo boost for to basically run you know it would dump a ton of glucose into your kidneys basically like a turbo charge and that's what that was for but what happens now and let's say in modern day when we don't have to deal with that anymore now we stress about work adrenaline yeah right we stress about work, we stress about family, we stress 24-7. And that's what actually kills us in the end. That land was pretty handy, let's say, when we were hunter-gatherers. But now it's, um, it's a liability. <laughs> I still hunt. Oh, cool, but only deer. Whitetail. Let's say in places where they need to be called to protect the population. We've got um, red deer here, I think. There's a lot in the next county over in Galway. Lots of deer there. So, I'll leave it here, guys. I am so tired I can't even think straight. But I will be back tomorrow at the same time. So, pay nothing here, you just, ah, uh, do it. No, you don't pay here either, but, um, small country and not the largest ever, you know, population of deer, but in certain areas where the numbers will grow too big to, you know, protect the population, you know, the sick ones or, you know, the ones that say, you know, too many, they would be called now and again. Good night, everyone. Good night, Jill. Thanks for the stream. I hope you get some rest. And I hope you get some rest also. And have a great day tomorrow, Jill. Take care and stay safe. Bye. Pay for license, anyway. But beyond that, yeah, they're overpopulated in some parts here. But let's say not so much here. We can understand with bigger countries, let's say, you know. Take care, old croc, and you too, Yako. Have a good one, and you too, Jill. So, goodbye, Yako and Das. Take care, thanks for stopping by. Also, you, Jill, have a good one. Um, 
Blonde, uh, Perry, uh, Hufflepuff, Terry, take care guys, uh, also Suburban Werewolf, stay safe, um, and of course Broadside, and thanks again for stopping by and raiding, I appreciate it, and thanks Raiders for accompanying Broadside on that raid, and let's see. Have we here? Court, of course. Stay safe, court. And young. Take care, young. I think young was on tonight. And Stephen. Stephen was on. He was. Yeah, take care, Stephen. And have a good one. And, um, yeah, AP was on as well. So you two, stay safe. That's all I see and that's all I can remember. I think we mentioned Perry. If not, take care, Perry. I really don't remember anyone else, but that's my memory when I get tired, so apologies for whomever I forgot. And to everyone who was watching and lurking, I appreciate the support, guys. And you too, Das. I hope you have a great day. And stay safe. So we go straight to a raid and I'll stay on there for I think I'll be able to stay for a decent amount of time. I just need to lie back and get my Do you know Stony Fox? I think we're following each other to us. Um, I think so. Yeah. I'll see if she's on. I stole this perma perma dish. I do for current build but it's just ah for survival. Cool. Yeah, I'll see. I'm nearly sure she's playing Fallout 4. I think we raided her about two weeks ago, didn't we? Yeah, I think we're following each other. We'll see if she's on. I'm almost sure, actually, we are. 